Ray's You Know What Do podcast on Riotcast.com. What's up? What's up? What's up? We are back. You know what, dude? Every week consistently for fucking years, we're here on, on Tuesday. We'll use Sunday night, Monday morning to download or watch on YouTube because we're the motherfuckers. Uh, make sure you uh, become a premium member. Mm-hmm. Don't be an asshole. Uh, become a premium member. One ninety nine. Sign up. Get the app. You know what, dude? Download it. Right. Download it. We got uh, <clears throat> we got fucking Adam, aka the Assassin Audio. Yes. Hey the audio. The audio assassin. <laughs> I've been doing AKAs before anybody's been doing AKAs. <laughs> All right. By the way, a lot today. I'm just saying that there's a <laughs> lot of fucking podcasts doing AK. Mike Rappaport does the AKA. I did AK Monster Voice. AK. I did all these AK. I love Mike Rappaport's podcast. It's one of my favorites. But I, you know. I've been doing the AKAs. <laughs> we got uh, AKA the audio assassin. We got AKA the fucking A cup. Uh, we got uh, come on. AKA Don Knotts. AKA A cup. Don Knotts chest. <laughs> Listen, oh. I got a great nipple. Ugh. I'm going yeah. with that. So it, I'm going to stick with my great nips. Yeah, so is not Ricky Martin. <laughs> <laughs> I want to suck his fucking hairy Mexican tit. Yeah, what? He's not Mexican. At least I don't have hair on my nips. Yeah, not yet. I saw a I'll lady the other day. Now, you have to help me with this. <clears throat> I get it that you're a vegan. I get it that you're, you know, you don't, you, 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 whatever the fucking belief system is. But she came in, big girl, which I love big girls. Yeah. I have no problem you being a big girl. Yeah. Um, More came into a store. Cushion. I love it. She was a big, big girl, though. Yeah. bigger than me. That's a big girl. Nice. All right, relax <laughs> no, with you. Kidding. Shocked face. <laughs> Um, big girl, and she had uh, just long, wispy hair on her yeah. chest. Stop. I was eating miso soup at a Japanese little to-go place, trying to be healthy, Ew. trying to keep it together. I was hungry, but I didn't want to eat too much. I didn't want to overeat. I didn't want to eat shit, so I got a little miso soup it was it black and hair? a seaweed salad. No, it was a white girl. No, it was a black hair. Oh, black hair. Sorry. <laughs> fucking racist Bob Kelly. So no, it was a white girl. Can you believe it? I, I, is this your pen? No. Oh. Um, <laughs> so aggressive. I'm aggressive. Is this your fucking pen? <laughs> I'm a fucking aggressive, yeah. I know. And I, I, I have it. tone issues. We've, I know. We know I have tone uh, issues. I know. Become a premium member. <laughs> Download the app. You know what, dude, podcast app. You know what, do- Robert Kelly's You Know What Dude podcast app. There you app. go. Hit the button, join, boom. Mm-hmm. Uh, did we get that audit that, that that creeps with kids up? Rob's got it. He's got to edit it. He Fucking will, uh, come on. He'll have it up. Rob's when? Friends. I've been promising these premium members content. I'll ask him. I got the new uh, Go mixer from Roland because I want to start doing video podcasts on my phone. Yeah. Uh, for on the go. That's why it's called the Go mixer. Yeah. <laughs> And 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 Adam uh, is helping me. Adam, the audio assassin, aka. And and you love it when I use really like inside audio terms like field. I kept going. Were well, you going to use this in the field? <laughs> I go. Yeah, I'm going to the field. It's if you fucking I'm going, say field one more time, yeah, I'm going to fucking Syria next week to do some field reporting. I'm Wait, going, he asked if you were going to use it in the field. I asked if he was going to use it. In he the kept field. saying oh, field. God, my so God. I told him if he said field again, I'm going to hit him with fucking one of Noam's yeah. ukuleles. And that was on the phone. Did you ever get fucking whacked I'm with the I'm surprised he didn't Never hang have. up on you. Uh, all right, I got my own people talking over me. <laughs> Never mind the fucking guests I invite. You two twats are going to fucking get so comfortable. <laughs> all right, listen. No, I, I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Anyways, what was that? Okay, so, mm-hmm. yeah. F- Hair. Wispy, long. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, years of growth. Yeah. 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 It looked like it, it was It was uh, not patched up. It was like armpit hair. Like a little an, curl Like an Asian end? dude's armpit hair. <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean? Yeah, like a pube. Yeah, it was like a long fucking. Pube. Why do pubes not grow long? They do. What? Yeah, but they stop. There's yeah, a, they stop. It's not like head hair. Yeah, like genetics is just crazy. It's like somewhere in your body, it said that's enough. Yeah, that's enough growth. <laughs> See, I grow. I'm like full hairy from chin down, like we know. covered. In Are you hair. really? Oh yeah, I gotta wax. I gotta. I gotta maintain. Oh wow. Oh yeah. god. Why would you ever course. fucking tell anybody? I'm Italian. You have hair on your I nipples. Want- no, I don't. Do you have hair on your stomach? Yes, I do. I gotta go. Never come here again. <laughs> Where on your stomach? Just like I got like a happy trail, but I wax it. A treasure trail. What do you wax it with? A candle? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking beast. I lay, I lay there, and I just. <laughs> 
<laughs> right off of me. Feels good. I, met, I remember this Puerto Rican girl in Boston. She was so hot. And I showed up for a date number deuce. Oh, Puerto Rican. She, she opened the door. Oh, yeah. she, she opened the door with uh, the white bleach all over her mustache. Oh, I, my and I, God. She opened the door and I went, uh, What? The, are you all right? She goes, oh, I'm just bleaching. Oop, I forgot. I'm sorry. I was like, Okay. She took it off. I could not stop. The thinking. hair is still there. A lot of Spanish girls leave the hair. You go to Brazil, you know what? The, they don't shave their legs in Brazil. Nah. They go on the beach, right on the beach. Pull that up. On the beach, Brazilian <laughs> girls are uh, bleaching their hair on the beach. They have girl. They'll they'll bleach their hair right on the beach, and they leave this long wispy hair. But it, you can't see it because their skin's so dark from the sun and their the beautiful golden color of the Brazilian girl's skin. <laughs> and then with white, you know, hair, you can't see it. You can't see it. Video. Do video. And then uh, yeah, it's pretty amazing. See it? That's a little porny. Can you see it? Mm. Is there any videos? No. Nothing? What's that one up top? Brazilian prisoner who's dressed like in <laughs> bikini. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, you know what? Hit that. Hang okay, on. Put the click on that. I want to see that. Brazilian <laughs> prisoners dressed in bikinis film snorting cocaine. Of course I want to see that. That's why I love the internet. You can literally just try to go get one thing, and all of a sudden we're watching. Look at that. Nice. Look at those oh Brazil girls. Hit that play button. Stop Hold messing on, I'm around you. Make it big. Oh, make it big. You're making it big. You're Go making it order. big. You're making it big. <laughs> Turn that down. All right, look at those. That's a Brazil prison. <gasps> that sounds like heaven. Why are they dressed in regular clothes? Well, they're having a, it's Mardi Gras. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. That's heaven to me right there. Really? All right, going there with a nightstick and a wad of 20s. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, look how pretty they are. Oh, look at that. Oh, that what? She jerking off? No, oh, she's not jerking off. Yeah, they're tiling something out, though. They're twiddling oh. something. Oh, they, they have no underwear on. Oh. There's the boss lady. Yeah, that's okay. the boss. That's the madam. That's the boss yeah. lady right there. <laughs> she eating. Oh my god. What is that? A penis? Is that a penis? Oh, no. it's an arm. Oh, I think they're tiling out the coat. That's what you're used to. <laughs> that's a size penis you're used to. Anything that looks like an arm, you're like, is that a penis? Fucking you and your creepy boyfriend. <laughs> it's true. It's huge. All right. Cancel out of this. Anyways, let's bring the guests up. We have All a great right. show today. Uh, we're going to, uh, we got, who do we get on today? We have Greg Stone. Love Greg Stone. So funny. I just saw him on the stoop downstairs. Looked a little serious on the phone. But anyway. Yeah, yeah I passed him by. So I was like, beautiful day out here. And he was like, oh. I was like, all right, see you in a minute. <laughs> Way to say what I just said twice. <laughs> The fuck are you working? On I your... just act. I wanted to change my acting skills. Yeah, well, what, what you... <laughs> that was a little demonstration <laughs> of how my yeah. I'm a great actress. Yeah, okay. we get it. Relax. Okay. Hmm. UCB Lauren over here, <laughs> aka UCB. What else we got? We got Dan Saint Germain. He's Who coming else? up right now, and Yamanika Sanders. Yamanika. Yamanika is going to be a little late. Who knew? Um. <laughs> anyways, uh, it's going to be a great show. Oh, I love you. Change the logo up. Yeah. Oh, God. I say change the logo up. You know what he does? He changes the fucking logo up, and it looks great. Was that you? We did it together. Teamwork. Yeah, group Come effort. on here. I got, the, I got the best team in the world right now. Teamwork. The only problem with it is that someday it's going to end. No, it's never going to end. We're going to die together, Bobby. You're wow. never leaving my side. How about this? We just we wind up making a lot of money and sell the show to somebody else, and then, uh, okay, and make it and then I replace you. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't wait till I start to get like really like... A little haggard looking. You just trade me in immediately. I'm not going to trade you in. <laughs> hey, there hey. he is. How are you? There we hey. go. And then some fucking dude. I have no idea who the fuck. <laughs> Who's random people coming up to my studio? <laughs> who, who the fuck is this guy? Hi, buddy. I got to make sure that this fucking. I don't know who this person is. How you doing? I can't just have. Is he a guest? Yeah. Oh, well, fucking let me know. I, I don't want to get murdered. <laughs> have you, do you watch the fucking news? Do you know Selena? You remind me of Selena. A lot of people fucking just some random liberal guy who heard me say something on Nick DiPaolo's podcast for a laugh. Then he's up here taking me out. Hey, want to tell me when people come up to the studio? I would like to know as a fan. Hi, how are you? Sorry, I just, you know, I went to therapy today. So I'm. So you're in a good place. Well, <laughs> Whether they unearthed the bad shit. 
I'll tell you, people say you go to therapy and you're supposed to be healthier, but what happens is, right, you get into it, and all of a sudden I'm an open wound, and he sends me out to the fucking world. Yeah, all the pus comes out. <laughs> well, you got all the pus. I'm not that bad. <laughs> How are you? I'm great, man. Have a, we got a special guest coming on today. Yes. Very special guest. Um, I'm very excited about. I uh, just saw him out front of Ben's Pizza. I was having a little a pokey, uh, <gasps> not a bowl. You ate it without me? How yeah. could you pokey without me? Pub. I was dying. Oh my god! How dare you pokey without me? We'll do pokey right, after. Pokey I did after. a pokey, the little you cup. I did the cup. All yes, right, we'll do pokey pokey after. <laughs> I, I had to eat. I went to boxing today. I went back to the gym. Mm-hmm. So my my, I'm fucking my body. Even though I it should be eating its own fat for nine years, <laughs> I should be able to. I I would survive <laughs> on an island for nine years with nothing, <laughs> just water, <laughs> just water. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. And then I would still, by nine years, you'd come on, I'd be in shape. <laughs> You're like, wow, Bob, you look great. You got abs. You look like Jesus, the Catholic one. Um, who did that joke? Everybody. Uh, Jesus had abs. <laughs> um, we got Yamanika's coming on. She's yeah. late. Yeah. <clears throat> Black. Uh, <laughs> kidding. Who, who said that? Uh, that wasn't me. <laughs> uh, um, but we do have a special guest coming on today. P- uh, please bring up this video. Did you see the guy? I, uh, I love that airlines now with technology, everybody has a fucking phone. We're seeing what really happens in the air. Uh, how fucking crazy! No, not that guy. Who's that guy? Man kicked off Delta flight for using bathroom. No, I mean there's so many fucking yeah. just people getting beat up. The guy beat up a guy on a fucking plane. Just type. Is, that I in. was about to say like, these are like the white version of police brutality videos. <laughs> this <laughs> yeah. is the closest you're going to get to a white guy and being a police brutality video. Yeah, just somebody. They took me from business class and put me in coach. You know, like. well, it's like this, sir, <laughs> sir. Um, oh. it's a guy. No, fight on plane. Just type in fight on plane. I gotta fucking do this. Uh, there we go. This guy. Oh my god! Right there, first one. Bing. Watch two oh, men get wow. into violent fight on I Japanese. Love it. Violent. I, yeah. Hit, stop right here before you make it big. Get it ready. I'll, I'm just gonna uh, stretch. <laughs> the problem with the, like the my J- t-shirts. <laughs> you know the Japanese. They hold this uh, all this emotion in. So when it comes out, it's like. <laughs> well, it's not, not. See here, you gotta watch the video before you make your fucking statement about <laughs> Japanese people. I know you're a political fucking guru, but listen, okay. <laughs> I know you get the the beard to fucking tell. I see. I, yeah. I work in Brooklyn. I have something to say. Listen, all right, you long-haired hippie. <laughs> <laughs> it's two American guys, you fucking trash. I thought there's some Japanese on yeah, here. Well, you, see, that's the problem with people. They just read the headlines and make an opinion. Yeah, Settle that's down, what you do. fucking. You what are you, a woman b- blogger? <laughs> Listen. I now, was a woman blogger thing to say, but kind of like a racial, more of a right wing. Oh my God, the it Japanese. Would, it would be rape. <laughs> two men raped each other on a Japanese flight. Uh, uh, no, what yeah. happened was. Is uh, these two guys? This is funny though. So, uh, bring it back to the beginning, please. I'd like to watch the whole video. Uh, thanks. Um, I love you. Um, this guy, look, he's got his bows on. They're ready to go. <laughs> he's got his fucking baseball because he's a douche. Uh, you know that. That first of all, that's his airplane outfit, which fucking bugs yeah. me. There's certain guys that have their outfit on a plane, and that's his baseball. Honey, have you seen my flying hat? <laughs> And are you all right? Are you Sorry. dying? Allergies, I was just kidding man. about it. allergies. Yeah. You sure it's not drugs? I wish. You're not going to pull a fucking been, Mitch Hedberg, are you? What's yeah, going on? It's been two years. Uh, <laughs> you good? Uh, right in the bathroom, right inside there. Um, so anyways, um, this guy is just putting his shit together, getting ready to fly. I don't know what happened before this. Uh-huh. I think this guy might. But I've had a guy. I pray for this to happen. <laughs> I'm such a fucking psychopath. Yeah, yeah. I want this to happen so bad to me. Yeah. On an airplane, I, though? I told my therapist this. Yes. Especially on an airplane. Yeah, and yeah. I want somebody to film it. I told my therapist today, I just, I would love for some fucking shadrool, some douche who had a little much too, too much booze at the airport bar, mm-hmm. whatever is fucking, some little fuck just to snap on me and a, a kind of attack me a little on a plane, yeah, 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 yeah. I would beat the fuck out of him. <laughs> I would take out all, from my second father, from all the fucking uh, juvie jails, yeah. all the bullying that happened to yep. me, every fucking shitty cab driver, every fucking plane that was delayed, and every time I was lied to, every passive-aggressive fucking face my wife ever gave me would come out on this Cock suckers. Yeah. I would not stop because I could be in the right because he yeah, yeah. attacked me 
on a plane. I had a guy one time turn around and I was pushing the buttons on the screen. Yeah. And he goes, mate, you want to, you know, it's mate. a push button. Yeah. I don't know where he's from. I'm just, I'm just throwing. <laughs> he's so Japanese, he's a- actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's not as funny when you go, oh, please don't push a button. On- <laughs> yeah, hard. I don't know if I can argue that. Yeah, it's not funny. Uh, mate. <laughs> <laughs> he turned around and he goes, mate, well, you, you know, something like that. He's like, you're pushing the buttons. You know, it's touch screen. You don't have to tap. I go, I go, relax. Sit down. Relax. Yeah. Don't talk. Why are you talk? You know? But I would love to just fucking have this happen. When I saw this video, I was like, oh, my God, this makes me so happy. And, and the guy with the headphones, I hope he's in the right. This is the problem with these videos. You do no, make, no. like, I'll, I'll totally take this guy's side, and then I'll find out that he kicked the guy's baby. Yeah, You'll get yeah. the rest of the yeah. video, and I'll make a statement. And I'll find out that he kicked the guy's baby. Who's that? Tom Saletti. No. Uh, Tom Saletti. I, I called him by accident. Oh, okay. Uh, all right. So here we go. Ready? Okay. Hang on one second. Pause it. Let me just get it. I feel okay. bad. Hang on one second. Tom Saletti. Everybody, uh, Tom, I, I butt out you by accident. You're on my podcast. Uh, you doing your podcast? Yeah, you're on live right now. Do you, is that okay? You have to say that now to people. No, that's fine. Hi, Tom. I just emailed you back. All right, this isn't a fucking business call for you. All right, you're on my, you're under my dime now. Okay, so don't fucking help kiss, me. Don't kiss. Oh, really? I know, I'm just I'll kidding. fucking help you. Right. I'll fucking. You can be with Scopo. They're shooting, no, they're oh my shooting, god. They're shooting for Never one week Scobo. and you're done. You're back over here. Um, all, right, all right, buddy. I'll talk to you later. All right. You got it. Was it important? No, no. I was calling you back. I meant to call you this morning, but uh, I'll call you, then I saw you called. So no worries. All right. I'll get you well, later. Well, this is great. We should do a segment called The Boringest Conversation. <laughs> Someone from have. that oh, office no, calls every episode. Yes, so talk over know. Tom, Lauren. Just keep yapping, Lauren. Lauren's all whipped up today. She's talking. Over, I think she wants to take over the podcast, Tom. <laughs> She's feeling spunky. I like it. Yeah, well, spunky. She smells spunky. But all right, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. That's what happens when you date a comic. You always smell spunky. <laughs> what? <laughs> all right, here we go. Ready? <laughs> What? She, whoa! Yes. He made it. Yeah. But he look what he does to that shirt. Stop! 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 I've ever seen. Stop! This is the funniest part. He goes. He goes. I'll kill you. He goes. I'll kill you. And then he throws a one knuckle punch. <laughs> he literally. He, he goes. I'll kill you. And he throws a knuckle. Yeah. And like he's gonna give him a noogie. Also, yeah. the the dark beard and the white hair always looks so fucking weird. Yeah, but dude, if you this is the problem with this guy too is you cannot. He's got a ton of tattoos, so he probably get tattoos. Yeah. He's he thinks he's in that world and he's really not. This guy over here with the bows and the hat. This guy probably played baseball in college, <laughs> right. basketball, has a letterman, probably a couple kids, but still can can yeah. fucking beat the shit out of somebody. He was throwing yeah. real punches. The other guy, guy wasn't throwing punches. He bring was throwing it back fingers to, bring around. Bring it back to the beginning again. I this I, I want to see if we can CSI this a little bit. This guy's getting ready, right? All right, hit the play. He just came, came out, out of nowhere. Of, like a, stop. Like a he gopher. came out of nowhere like a cat. Yeah. Like, right? Yeah. He, I mean, what the fuck? That was real speed. What could he have? What? Why? That was a cat. Look. Yeah. Yeah. Where did he come from? He came from the seat in front he, of him. He was uh, curled behind a radiator, <laughs> and then he jumped out. <laughs> oh, if that guy—if he would have hit him with that punch, yeah, the guy would be dead. Bad. Watch what he does to his shirt. Dude. Dude. <laughs> that move. The point to the face. To the fifth, the Jeez. punch, the point of the punch, like Bruce Lee. Yeah, it's impossible unless you're Bruce Lee. <laughs> but look what he did to his. You know that Hawaiian shirt he got wherever he was. Yeah, he was so psyched to bring that home. Look, look, look what he did to it. Watch, play, push, play. Ready? Watch. His- yeah, these girls are really trying to stop it. Oh, my God. Look at it. He's got- oh wow! Oh, it's a fucking cape now. <laughs> yeah, I love it. He ripped his shirt. Look, yeah, they're really trying to stop him. Look at him. They're Just not even holding him. Poor flight attendants. Yeah. Yeah, I know. Japanese people are so docile. They're not supposed to do it. I mean, I don't, don't, they're yeah. not supposed to even put your luggage in the thing for you because if they get hurt, they're not, like, covered or something. Yeah. So I would imagine they're not allowed to help people it, break up it, fights. I don't know if that's true in Japan, though. Oh, I don't know if it's true even here. I just oh, kind of said it. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't have anything else to say. 
<laughs> we live in a country Let's, now where you can just do that, though. Yeah. It's fine. <laughs> you just say whatever the fuck you want. It really is. I want to be on the podcast. Well, I read uh, it. Where? On my website. <laughs> I wrote it on my website, then I read it, and now I'm referencing it. <laughs> it really is true that well, people knows. just say shit, and then people go, did you hear? <laughs> I've done that so many times. I was we're going to bring that. You're going to yeah, cut to us like on a flight like <laughs> yeah. this weekend and be like, you know, my buddy... <laughs> Yeah, they can't lift those things. They're not even covered. How and fucked then, up is that? And then he's on the. He, this guy's in a cab going to. The, you know? Did you know you can't? <laughs> I didn't know. That. And then yeah. she's in a fucking aerobics class. Yeah. Dude, they can't help you anymore because of the fight. They can't. It's illegal. They can't even help you. So and, then, yeah. and somehow it's going to become the old lady at McDonald's who burnt your pussy. <laughs> yeah, because that one thing when that old lady burnt your butterfly pussy, effect with just stupid people. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead, watch this. You're gonna watch this jab. The guy throws, so it's great. Uh, you brought it's it not over. over. Did you bring it to the beginning? No, no. Here, oh, here, here we go. Watch the jab. He comes back. The guy looks like this LA comic, Bronson Jones. That's Watch cool this. Name. Someone brought up, stop right there. Someone brought up America, which was hilarious. I love that. <laughs> yeah. Someone, I think he brought up America. What is this, America? I don't know, something. <laughs> which is great. I love that we're the fuck. This, this is what we are now. Yeah. Around the world. A bunch of animals. Yeah, just fucking people beating the shit out of each other on planes. <laughs> I mean, that guy in that Hawaiian shirt couldn't look any more American. That like, is like uh, a character of what you think a PI would dress like in yeah. the 80s. Oh, my God. He's terrible. Here he comes again. Roy, watch this. Is he, he come comes, running back? Oh, he comes running back. Oh, that's back. exciting. Look at that. There's a baby right there, too. Uh, that's what hurts my Watch. And that... Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. I'm back! Watch this jab. Oh. <laughs> stop. Stop. Go back. Just a little bit. Right with that. There's one fucking pussy. Stop. <laughs> Guys, get off this plane. Why don't you shut the fuck up and man up and get up there and fucking block this guy? Yeah. Guys, stop. Stop! Get off this plane! What is that? That's the exact opposite of Sam Jackson. Or fucking... It's... What the fuck is that? Gotta go back. Oh, man, he gets it. He's like... Oh, that poor woman! Hey, hey, hey. Hey, 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 hey. No, but those tattoos or is that hair? I think he's just hairy. Stop right there. This guy... Oh, my God. I love the New York Post logo at the end. The New York Post headline became a video. That yeah. was... That'd be a great uh, podcast, uh, YKWD version of the New York, <laughs> FYI, write that down. Gotcha. Um, but the guy filming finally, hey guy, you finally put the camera oh, down, Yeah. and uh, I'll, I'll help somebody. <laughs> Do you hear him? Hey, he, hey, hey, this is too too much. <laughs> is, is, is that Now, was that in the air or when they were on the tarmac? I believe that was on the tarmac. It sounded, though, like they were flying, didn't it? I don't know. Uh, that's I don't. It sounded like they were flying. The plane would have went down a little. If I would, would have had a. Pro- if they were flying, I would have been <laughs> fucking pissed. If on the tarmac, yeah. like well, you have time to wait anyway, that would be fun. Like yeah, from the tarmac yeah. to the gate, <laughs> yeah. that would be like a. I wouldn't even notice You're the throwing twenty bets, minutes. Then. Money, in. yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah, I think I. Here's a problem: is there was a woman up front with a baby. Yeah. To this this violent guy, where the f- I'm so scared. Every time, uh, you might have to talk them up, Bubba. Every time I fly. That I'm gonna get fucked with from TSA or whoever the fucking airport people are. Yeah, yeah. Right. And where the f- where are they? Yeah. They, I, I would assume they'd have to be in the air. Yeah. But well, true, because that guy would. Uh, hang be on, on one second. What Can fuck? you not do that, uh, Lauren? Uh, we're <laughs> actually doing a show. Can you just go down and meet him, sweetie? Did we start? Thanks. We started. <laughs> yeah, where have we been on? That's hilarious. Oh, that there she is. Hey, could you? Oh, the energy Uh-oh. you're bringing in is great. Oh, that's 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 fucking. Oh, you look happy. The airline video just arrived. <laughs> what the? Fu- what are you looking for? A charger. A charger. All right, listen. Do this. We're doing a show. Don't just come in and oh, take over the show. Already? Yeah, we're on. We've been on for fucking ten minutes. Well, they hate no. me anyway. Four o'clock. No, who hates you? The whole, your whole crew hates me. I love you. Is the that fat gr- black gorillas here? <laughs> Jesus. I gotta make my note, my note, Bubba, my note, are you crazy? Note. There he is. Yamanique is here with some fucking. <laughs> Paul Preventa and Yamanique. Paul, yeah. Paul Preventa <laughs> just walked in. We got a full like, fucking you, house today. Oh, oh come on. Wow, she just bullied you out of your ice water. <laughs> you let anybody in here. And therein lies where a fucking the white guy is in the world today. Oh, come on. Oh, man, dude. Uh, she just walked <laughs> Forever up. feature. I'm taking your water. I said <laughs> reparations. And you went, 
Oh, come on, <laughs> you <laughs> fucking coward. Oh, Where he can go? get the cops to kill me, Where please. <laughs> please. <laughs> Cocksucker, you. I don't know. Introduce <laughs> me to all your friends. Huh? Introduce okay. me to all your well, friends. You, you're a grown hey, adult. Oh, Introduce yeah, yeah, yeah. yourself. Hey, they hey, know hello. you. Hello. Paul hey, Provenza. Paul. Nice to meet you. Dominica? Yamanika. Yamanika. With a Y, yes. She's usually... Hello, sir. Are you going to be on your phone? No, I just want to make sure I don't have any boogers and stuff. I ran to you. Can you get her a napkin? Please, a little towel. I'm trying to work out. I'm trying to lose weight. You're you're sweating like a get, southern trial lawyer um, that's be, losing. Yes, this. <laughs> yes. You'll be sweating soon. Yes. Baba, you're coming in with a lot of fucking. Gabrielle Sidibe <laughs> lost hap- 200 pounds. I've got to get on top of Who? it. Precious. She lost 200 pounds. Oh, she's a, no. like a supermodel now. Really? Yeah, I was like, there's nothing I don't know like about seeing a supermodel. F- <laughs> no, compared to what she was. Well, yeah, yeah, the supermodel true. industry has changed. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, <I thought laughs> that like, is true. Oh my god, thank you, baby. So Bob, much. you can't just you can't just lose weight and be a supermodel. You bring her up, please. What's her name again? Gabrielle. Is it Gabrielle? Yeah. Sidibe? Sidibe. Sidibe. Bring her up now. Put now. Now. Put now. Yeah, now. No, not then. <laughs> you know what she looked like in Precious. I mean, yeah, she was a... running with fried chicken that in That movie, hands. man, is fucking crazy. Like, I didn't watch it. Oh, it's like one more on fucked up thing happens after the next. <laughs> I, one... won't, I won't watch that movie because of that. It was too fucking sad. It's, it's too, so it's too... sad. I masturbated. By the end it. of it, you're like, when is the hurricane coming? This bitch has been through everything. I'm sorry, what? I masturbated and to it. You, you did? did? Yeah. yeah. I, love, I love the abuse. You love the abuse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. You Wait. fucking had, had okay. clothespins yes. on your nipples? <laughs> had a frying pan Holy on your shit, dick? Holy shit, she got thin. Let me Where? see, let me see, let me see. Well, that one in the black and white is not her. That's an exaggeration. But where, there's where one. She? Put in now. Put then, like uh, recent. I said, didn't, oh, stop one second. <laughs> oh, stop one second. Wait, wait. Some of those Shut, are Oprah. I said, put in now. <laughs> Don't fucking pass off what I said. And then she does it like she only listens to black women. <laughs> well, I'm having a good day. I'm sweating. Well, but this one, look at this. You didn't even come close to spelling her name right. All right. She no. Looks, she, oh, oh, wow. She, she didn't let's stop. First of all, you look better than her now. Okay. Yeah, oh my God! With the sweat, even thank you. Not well. The sweat. I like the sweat. You I like thought. it? That's yeah, good. I like oh my it. God! Click on a photo, please. Let me see what she looks like. She's doing it. Are you out of your mind? Not that one. That's a while. Go Which, to this one up here with up this red. Yes. Up cup. Up Look up at left. her. She's got like a a controlled spank. She wasn't able to wear a spank before. Bubba, are you out of your mind? No. She's cute. Co- f- what? What? You guys click, are- click on she- that photo. You 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 <laughs> first of all, she's not proportionate. You're proportionate. Your, I don't know. She's lost your her boobies mind. are the same size as everything else. Your booty, everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're very proportionate. You got a beautiful face. There's no that's way wonderful. you Thank lose you. a little weight. That's fine. But I think no. you're pretty like this. I lo- oh my god. I love do, you have, like do, you have, you. do you have health problems? Not really. No. Screw I mean, I've got sleep. That went from the opposite of a compliment. <laughs> <laughs> you're beautiful. Like so, what? What are you gonna die? I of think he's she's, she's, <laughs> she's sweating from walking up the flight I, of stairs. Yeah, well, yeah, well, I'll I, do that no, too. I, do you? I'm in my workout gear. Look at. Okay, you, you think I wear this shit? You know, you know. Hey, hey, sit down. You know, this is a comedy podcast, okay? I'm not fucking. This is what is this, Bill Maher? I was a joke, you fucking asshole. All right, you come in. You're on the phone. You're late. What's going on? I not there. For you. Relax. You Everybody take my friend's was water. I was. He, it was cold. What does he need cold water for? I like cold water. <laughs> You're not even sweating. I'm sweating up a storm. No, I already had one. So I love that when fun, you get attacked, but... you turn into a Jewish lady from Long Island. <laughs> I'm sweating up a storm. <laughs> <laughs> what does he need cold water for? <laughs> <laughs> we, <laughs> uh, we got. Uh, we got. I, I'm so glad you came up. I saw, now. I, I told him. This. He's going to Ben's Pizza to get a slice of pizza. Oh. A slice of, a, a slice of Sicilian pizza. Because it's yeah. the best Sicilian in town. Whatever. Right. With the Sicilian. I told him to get a grandma slice. Yeah, I got yeah. a grandma slice. Because grandma, it's the best grandma slice in town. Ben's. Yeah. It's the best grandma it, pizza and, in the and you're grandma you are slice? absolutely Prince correct. Street. It's a it, fantastic slice of pizza. Oh my god. And from now on, yes. instead of getting instead of getting two slices of Sicilian, I'm gonna get a grandma and a Sicilian. Boom. What's you a grandma? Life. Well, grandma, you don't know what grandma pizza and is? And I'm a big girl. And I don't know what grandma is. Grandma Peaches. Well, not your grandma. It's, an, it's somebody else's grandma. <laughs> this is going to be a great show. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be like Green Room. <laughs> this is going to be like Green Room all over, kind of. <laughs> uh, uh, An Italian it's, grandma. <laughs> it's a... <laughs> The uh, uh, I can smell it. <laughs> it's, it's coming. I'm pretty sure it's still on my face. Uh, a grandma pizza is... Uh, the crust is flaky. It's more mm. of a flaky type of crust, like a um, very cr- crunchy, really crunchy. Okay, 
if All that's right. a word. But it's a square like. It's a square like yeah, Sicilian. It's, it's like Sicilian. It's yeah. thinner than Sicilian. Yeah. But that same, like, really great crunchy. crunchy. Yeah. Crust. I mean, it's not as hard crust. <laughs> yeah. And the sauce is just amazing. It's the best. Ben's has the best grandma slice on the planet Earth. Regular slice, you go to John's. Well, have you been to Prince Street? Have you yeah. had a Prince Street pizza? Listen, let, no, because I will go throw down with this. I'll fucking do it. Not only, I'll put, I'll put it down. Whoever has the best slice, uh-huh. are you talking slice or grandma slice? Well, uh, I'm not 100% sure if the Prince Street is Sicilian or grandma. I think it's grandma, but I'm a, like a 78% sure. Uh, all right, I will do that. And whoever wins, I, I gets to suck the other guy's cock. I'll suck my own cock. I was thinking no, you just have the, to suck my I was cock. thinking just free pizza. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you guys took it to another level. Yeah, I mean, no, I'm trying to get I a love that you go. But I'm not in the bed. Own. How can I <laughs> suck cock? <Yeah. laughs> but would you put that all it that against the... It went to cock sucking quick. What determines, <laughs> what determines the name of the pizza? Ben. Sicilian, yeah. what a grandma. Fucking Guido up in the show. It's like a square. <laughs> I think the gram- puffy slice a grandmother thing. probably grandma- made that slice of pizza with that certain uh, dough. Actually, okay. when my gra- when my grandmother used to make homemade pizza, yeah. it was a lot like that grandma pizza. It's it, 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 square pan, a lot right. of olive oil on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So they actually uh, mean Phil. They mean Provenzio's grandma's pizza. Yes, That's what they're saying. I, and I have no idea. My grandma <laughs> was involved in this industry. Is, are you Italian? Is, yeah, Italian one. Yeah. Italian. Just all straight up Italian. Straight up Italian. <laughs> My God. Yes. Yes. It, it's, there's a little Jewish undertone. Well, I'm a, I'm a comic. Oh, he tried to oh, he tried to make yeah. it as a comic back in the from 90s. My, from, my <laughs> from my generation, from my generation, if you were a comic, you were Jewish. Yeah, yeah. you were Jewish. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, speak. Have you ever seen the show, The Green Room? No, I haven't. You've I'm never sorry. seen this show. Okay. Listen, a, I I don't even watch television, and you know I'm not I don't a, blame you. You don't have to stay. Uh, a lot of people didn't see it. it no, your because age, I don't you're, you're so many people didn't. See I'm it. not. A, well, no, more people my didn't age. see it than saw it. Well, people saw it. It's a great but show. But your face is very uh, very familiar to me. I don't know how I I know your face. I spend a lot of time at Ben's. <laughs> Maybe I, I'm always down at Ben's, but down there you go. at Ben's. <laughs> Bending down at Ben's. No, we <laughs> got it. We just didn't like Shut it. Shut up, motherfucker. Shut I love face. It. I love you, and I, I'm going to fucking attack you all day. The other day <laughs> when we did that show together, you was so amazing. I had to go, but I wanted to jump up on that stage and hug you. Oh, you fucking annihilated. You Let's were. Just, and we're going to jerk each other off for a second. She went up Darling. on this. It was a. Uh, oh, could, the title couldn't have been worse. It was a <laughs> benefit for the Greenwich Village Association of something. So you know. <laughs> and it was all white people from Greenwich Village, uh-huh. you know, who try to keep Greenwich trees and you know uh-huh. squirrels right. living uh, in Greenwich, Greenwich Village. Village gentrification. We, yeah, we and the jack pigeons. Off. Our pigeons are different. Those yeah. guys. You know what I mean? <laughs> I like a little dirt on my streets. <laughs> I walk in. She's going on stage. She fucking annihilated. I had a good time. Baby. They were fuck. She's killing them. And I was supposed to go on after Paul Mercurio, which I was like, I'll do that. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'll fucking do that. And then they're like, no, you're going up next. I was like, Liz, I'll, I'll, I got time. I can fucking. She's like, you're going up next. <laughs> so I had to go up after you, but you killed. Everybody killed. It was a great, it was crowd. A great crowd. They were really yeah. a great crowd. Uh, let's bring up. I, I want to show you. This is one of my favorite episodes of your show, uh, which I, I mean, here's the problem with this. With our political climate right now, mm-hmm. comedians are the only honest people out there. Who aren't? Oh, if it's funny, it's funny. We tell it like it is. Well, you know, here's the, I, I I believe that too, and that was a big big part of uh, the sort of you know ethos behind Green Room and all that. Yeah. Shit. Where did just you come a, up with this show? Where, where the idea? Where you know, it, it's an idea that I've always I've always wanted. To, I, I always wanted to try and let people have some kind of experience that was like when I got into the world of comedy and I realized it's like when you know like when you take your dog to the dog park and all of a sudden it's like my oh my dog, god my species my, my species my species right, yeah, that's yeah. what getting into comedy was like for me you know Sorry. and and uh and I always thought man if people could yeah. experience comedy the way we experience it just being around comedians that it's almost like a different way of being in the world right. because we don't have to answer to anybody. Nope. We speak our minds. Yeah. There's, whatever's wrong with us is the thing we ride into the sunset. That's yeah. the thing that makes us different, makes us unique. Yeah. We spend a lot of times thinking, reading, watching, and we just report back. And we don't judge each other most of the time. Yeah. We don't judge each other for <laughs> what? whatever it is you think. As long as it's funny, say it. Right? Yes. So what happens is 
people actually exchange ideas and opinions yeah. without watching every word they say. Yep. And, and I just think it, and it's not it's hating cool each other around. at the end of it. That's the other thing. That's is the that key. You can say you can really lambast each yeah. other, but the, uh, there's still some uh, there's still some loving about it. Like yeah. you don't hate somebody because they don't agree with you. Exactly. But like comics, you can you the the, the key to being a good comic, I say, is everybody says you know the bus balls. Mm -hmm. It's not. It's being able to take it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, being able to take a, a fucking hit. Yeah. Someone slamming you and being able to fucking go, that's fucking funny. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's funny. Funny, Fuck Trump, you. funny trumps everything, and, right? Yeah. The people that don't laugh who go, oh, fuck, you're not funny. To yeah. me, you're not and, funny. And, and you're just, just doing comedy. You learn how to write a joke and the formula of what we do. But someone who can't take a joke, okay, whatever. You, But someone who takes a fucking hit... And you go, you cocksucker, that was a good one. Yeah. And come back or not, that then you're funny to me. And to just and to just speak your mind and not well, be afraid to speak your joke. mind and not be afraid of other other people's opinions of a what you have joke. to say. Take a good joke. What's up, baby? Good. You have to take a good joke. Yeah, you because sometimes people throw well, out a bad joke and it's like, ew. Yeah, but here's the funny. Of course, of course. Yeah. Right? But if if someone says a bad joke, it's great that when you go, that's stunk. That's what this is for. <laughs> I, you know, the, this is my bomb bandana. So when we're on the show, <laughs> if someone tries a shit joke and it bombs, I throw. <laughs> you have to put it on your microphone so we know who's. But that's where that came from because we were on the show. And if someone says something fucking stupid, you're like, ugh. <laughs> Immediately, there's nothing better for a comedian to hear another comedian throw a fucking dud yeah. <laughs> right on the table. Well, like, just, there's nothing sure. better than watching your friend bomb. Like, not yeah. in a situation where it's like, oh, I got, like auditioning for a late night. So, like, it, if it's something that's really going to help their career, it sucks. But yeah, if yeah. like you're just doing like, a show with no consequences. Yeah, well, you know, when comics yeah. are hanging out, we yeah. don't want to hear about the great shows you no. had. We want to hear yeah. when you sucked so bad that your life was destroyed. That's yeah. the shit that's entertaining. When, we, when we're downstairs, I know me and Keith used to do this. Norton, Norton has done it to me before, too. Like when somebody's bombing, we'll all go downstairs <laughs> and we'll get the crowd to hate them more by going... <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Oh. oh my god. How oh. so about this one? How about this one? Just Yeah. <laughs> they did that to me so bad one night. I was oh, fucking man. howling on stage because these cattle, this fucking crowd stunk. And yeah. they were going Norton and Keith were in the hallway going, Oh <laughs> everything I said was no. Nah. I saw one lady was like, just end it. I was like, oh, oh fuck you. I was like, it's them. I was I, I was flipping out. I go, you're cattle. They're in the hallway just making you moo. Yeah. And then they left so there was nobody in the hallway. It's just me screaming. You <laughs> look <laughs> 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 like an insane person. You know, we used, to, we used to do at the improv way back in the day. Was you'd hear that silence after something. And it, there would be nothing funny to any of us than to hear Chico Marx from somewhere in the audience, some comic dude, Chico Marx, going, Hey, that's so funny. <laughs> that's Chico, a good joke. Chico hey, Mar that's a good joke. You know who Chico Marx is? Um, yes, I do. Can who I have the ban bandana? Yeah, sure. What do you need it for? I just want to have integrity. Yeah. I will wear it. For what? You said my joke bombed. Which one? The early one about bending over a bend. Well, I thought that was serious. Let me tell you something. I thought you were revealing. I'm gonna yourself. tell you something. I'm gonna let you keep that bandana because that bombed. <laughs> that whole act, that, whatever the scene you just created, <laughs> whatever the scene. fucking UCB no. dramatic, <laughs> I don't know if that was fucking Chitlin I was Circuit being scene. Sincere. You never uh, been on the Chitlin yeah, Circuit. I think it was more like a chilling looking at me. Okay. Look at me. Fuck you. Why? Like, whatever. You yes, just. You know, I tried to have thing. a sincere fucking moment. No, and listen. then you try to act like I, UCB. Listen to me. First of all. <laughs> UCB. <laughs> Play this. This is the clip. This is who. I, I'm telling you. I, if you don't have. If the show comes back and you don't have fucking Yamanika on, you're nuts. <laughs> you're fucking nuts. Okay. With Obama in office. This is, we love open. magic, man. We don't like talking reality. That's why I never really fell for the whole thing. Mm -hmm. We like ma That's why people think ancient dishwashers have predicted the end of the world in 2012, man. I don't believe in that. Stop. Ancient Stop. He just called the Mayan people, <laughs> which are basically Mexicans, Guatemalans, everybody from South America, <laughs> ancient dishwashers. <laughs> If that's not the funniest thing ever, if that's not the funniest fucking quote for fucking Spanish people, I don't know what is. A thousand percent. I would, if I was a Mexican comic, I'd have ancient dishwasher t-shirts at the end of my set. Are you fucking... Patrice, 
Let me tell you something. This uh, is I why miss, I miss Patrice. This man. fucker said it, but he meant it. He's, <laughs> he's literally having an analytical conversation about how people are, and he called pe- ancient dishwashers. <laughs> Suck a dick, man. Yeah. Oh, every time I hear this, fuck, I, I just, I'm not even a comic. Go ahead. Dishwasher. The apocalypto goofy little short dude. I don't I don't believe in it. <laughs> the apocalypto you feel goofy this though? Short you feel dude. this. <laughs> it's just like, ooh, because I said ancient dishwashers. But let's be honest, that's some funny shit. But it, it <laughs> but nice. predicted the end of the world. Where? Bob, you got a fucking joke about something about the end of the world, nigga. <laughs> um jump in, Roseanne. <laughs> <laughs> This is why he's fucking. This is what's great about this shit is because you know Bob has jokes. Mm-hmm. Bob isn't really a freestyle fucking philosopher. Mm-hmm. He has opinions. He's a great guy, one of the nicest guys I've ever met. But he does joke jokes. You know, he has that's his act. And Patrice just cut his balls Patrice, <laughs> on a fucking show in front of an audience on Showtime. Went yo yo, you got one of your little jokies? <laughs> <laughs> the point where where he, he stops Bob at one point. He goes, Bob, Bob, before you say anything, see if anything you say connects to anything anybody else here says <laughs> that's one of the reasons why i put them both on on the shows because oh, i knew God. that patrice doesn't like it if, if you're not going to be real patrice and, doesn't like if you're uh, not going to be real and funny uh, that's right Try and, to be- but but i also know that patrice knew saget they toured together years ago so i put them on the show together because bob's an old friend of mine we go back to like the, like the late 70s and uh and, and we're looking at your hair color we know <laughs> right <laughs> and and so i i said you know what can i do to make bob like not be what he normally is and yeah. to actually really be Bob and yeah. I knew if he was on with Patrice that Patrice wouldn't let him yeah. pull his shit well, and dead. it worked out perfectly within minutes he used Patrice to had him had him on tough crowd Patrice would come up and rip your notes up because <laughs> you got the night before you get all the topics and you'd have yeah. to write jokes that was the deal yeah. Patrice never wrote shit he, I never saw Patrice with a notebook I never saw him with a pen I never saw him fucking go hey, hey that was a good one Oh, let me get. Hey, remind me of that. Never. I think Patrice's whole life was just thinking out loud. I, I I don't get it. It's like a fucking. It's a um. Yeah, he's a savant uh, yeah, of this this uh, this business. Man, of all the comics we've lost in the last handful of years, man, Patrice is the one that breaks my heart the most. I think I, he was doing last... such. I think he would have taken everybody up a few notches. He would have. Fu- he would have been. He would have been at the top. Yeah, with no question. All, he was right on the verge. Of becoming the top, right there. But whatever, he's dead, and that sucks. Um, f- I hate talking about it because I always re- it's just it like, really fuck. does bum me yeah. out. Oh, it bums you out. But um, oh, look at this guy in the background too. Who's that fucking? <laughs> what did you get? This central casting? <laughs> we we want we want this to be multicultural, kind of. Go ahead. That's a woman, isn't it? No, in the background. I hate hope. <laughs> I got into a little trouble at the airport because you know I have a whole issue with I'll stop the, uh, one second. When did Roseanne become fuckable? <laughs> when the fuck did I just, She goes in and out. When, yeah, but on the show, Roseanne, <laughs> no way I would ever fuck her. Yeah. She actually looks really good right there. Yeah, yeah. She was Scorpio she, woman. And she's, and she's, she's, that mystique behind and she's coherent on this show. She is. Yeah. She started yeah. dressing like an earth science teacher when she got older. <laughs> yeah. it looked like yeah, she wore a lot better. of Birkenstocks or some shit yeah. like that. You're yeah, right. yeah. Like she figured it out once yeah, she, she moved got to like Hawaii. Hippie esque, you know. Yeah. yeah, she's got great teeth. I love when I love when uh, people who become famous get their new teeth. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, like yeah. Tracy Morgan. Yeah. Yeah. When Tracy got his teeth, he became like a Jay yeah. Moore got some teeth. Yeah, if yeah. you look, Jerry Maguire, look at Jerry, and then you look at him, and they're like, wow, those fucking teeth. <laughs> I can't, that's when you know someone made it. Well, now so it's, they get, yeah. now yeah. it's lip injections. Losing your so teeth can't be that bad, right? You just get new fake teeth. No, they just get teeth, man. Yeah, Tracy Morgan's teeth were jacked up, mm. and you get not the top. Most people could just get that top row. And then you look at that bottom row, you're like, motherfucker. But it is. Yeah. It's, it's fucking money in Hollywood. You ever, you ever see Sharknado? Yes. Okay, hilarious, right? I yeah. thought it was hilarious. I love it, hilarious. right? Yeah. Do you see Sharknado 2? Everybody looks like a cartoon caricature of what they look like in Sharknado 1 because they all had some cash in their pockets. Because they made they yeah. made And they all got surgery, yeah. and it's horrible. Uh, yeah. Are those your teeth? Yeah. Well, no, but uh, the ones in the back aren't. I'm going to tell you, know- you fun, the, one of the worst fights I've ever seen with Patrice O'Neill. <laughs> Was here. There's at the a lot com- to choose from. No, no, this is the worst. Comedy seller. Yeah. Uh, Patrice never worked this club. You know that. Very rarely no, they worked this. No, uh, seriously. He never worked. It was never passed. I'm gonna tell. No, he was passed. Oh. Of course he was passed. But this is one of the reasons he never worked the club again because he got kicked out. 
I'll tell you what happened. He, uh, and then when he could work, he was like, nah, I'm good. And he would come down every once in a while. But he, he found his own spots, and he just, because of this incident, he never really came back to the club. He, uh, he was downstairs, me, Geraldo, Norton, Patrice O'Neal, mm-hmm. uh, Manny, the owner, Manny's wife, Ava, and Esty, sitting at the table. Whatever, regular Saturday night. And we're all talking. Everybody's having conversations except Patrice. And you know, Patrice usually dominates conversation, so he doesn't like to not be, I mean, whatever he was. He was just not being talked to. And at one point, he goes, uh, <clears throat> Manny, are those your teeth? <laughs> now, Manny's an older gentleman, man, from a time, you know, he's not that guy. He's not, you know. And I don't know, maybe they weren't. I don't know. Manny fucking lost it. He went, you motherfucker. Fucker, fuck you. You want to fuck? You try to embarrass me in front of everybody? Asking me a question like, who the fuck do you think you are? What the fuck? And Patrice was like, whoa, What's shit. What's the big deal? Right. But to Patrice. But to Manny, and we were all like, what the fuck just happened? Seriously. And Patrice I... backs, he's, Patrice trying to back, ah, no, I'm, re- I'm, I'm asking. He doesn't back down a lot, I'm right? trying <laughs> to ask you, you know, I, I was just wondering if those were your teeth, you know. Yeah, yeah. And he's like, you fucking, you're trying to embarrass me. Yeah. Because Patrice would embarrass people all the time at that table. Fuck with people. Maybe we don't know what happened. So I'm guessing those weren't Manny's teeth. I Probably not. Yeah, apparently. But we, uh, I remember Patrice. Patrice wound up leaving. He got kicked out. Then Norton gets kicked out for de- defending Patrice. <laughs> Over teeth? It was a fucking crazy oh, situation. Over teeth. That's nuts. And then... And, and then me wanna, and Geraldo. I'm dying to know there. what the what the button is that he pushed about Manny and his teeth. What, I think what psychodrama I, I, is going on I'll with tell Manny you what, and his I teeth. Think, I think because Manny had such respect at that table because he's the owner of all this shit. Right. And Patrice would fuck with a lot of people. Yeah. And I think you're probably waiting for somebody, maybe you know, for him to disrespect or fuck with you. And he and maybe the teeth was a touchy subject. And Manny was a you know look at Manny. He's an older guy. He's not he's not one of us. He's yeah, not a comic. He's not a young not buck. To be a comic. He owns the place. He's trying to host it. He's from an older generation where you don't disrespect people like that. Yeah. And Patrice, you know, did it in that Patrice. Yo yo yo. And we were trying to go look, man. He was just he. That's Patrice. He would never hurt you. He would never do it. And he was like, no, he tried. And it it. But did made, he know Patrice at all? If he knew course. Patrice was friends with him, then what was the problem? That's not that's the that's saying. not the thing that Please. I would go to if someone that I'm I respect or friends with I would instantly attack and go, "Are oh, you trying to embarrass me?" That's yeah, insane. Something, to me. something happened to Manny in that dentist chair. That's insane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were starting to we were, starting, we were all trying, but it slowly started becoming ball busting <laughs> as Patrice left, and, and then Norton said something, and then Norton got kicked out. It was off. No one was like, "I'm oh, fucking fine," and. <laughs> And then he left. He I would have gotten kicked out too because after all that came down, I would have gone, "Man, is that your real hair?" I just would. I wouldn't. wouldn't I know. I, keep myself from. I'm pretty sure. So, I think it was Geraldo. <laughs> I think there's a number of ways to disrespect somebody and ask them if those are their teeth. I asked you because your teeth are so straight; they look perfect. I didn't think that they would be real. First of all, my teeth so, are way better than his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, way better. It just sucks when you're um, that guy. You know, you, you can't what fuck would, with. What would you take as disrespect? Um, I mean, somebody, I don't know. <clears throat> I guess you feel it, you know? So it's like, uh, obviously, if somebody, if you know somebody, you I've been a disrespected more, but, before. Okay, been, but if you I, say that, like, you, can't, you, you can't deny what Manny did. If you say, I feel it, that's what you think disrespect yeah. is. Manny thought, felt it and was like, that's disrespecting me. Well, I so mean, I don't have say, a, but you well, can't. I can't, I can't, because here's what the thing is. Tell me the difference. I'm... Number one, there's no context for me. I'm nobody's disrespect, and I don't really know. I don't, I'm not the type of person that's like, oh my motherfucker. You know, if I'm like that, I'm probably just having fun and playing up. But I wouldn't. I would never feel disrespected from a friend. And if I did, somebody that I knew and I thought was a friend, what if a co- I would have a conversation with them on the side and not make this big scene? And what if a club owner did out. it to you? What if yeah, a club owner said something to you? When is that your is that your hair? Is that a I've wig? had people ask me if my about my hair and all kinds of things. Well, would that bother you if it was a certain club owner? It like, di- I mean, it doesn't bother me. But I'm also the type of person. My response, you might not like my response. You see? Well, no, I don't. So if you ask me about my hair, um, for example, I've had women ask me about, it, and I'm like, well, don't you know? Every woman has fake hair now. All women are wearing it. You know, a white woman asked me about, I don't understand how hair works. Why not? The white women are wearing weaves too. And except, you might not like my response, but I'll respond to you. You know, I just think that, listen, I've been, I've been talked 
to, I've taught, been talked down to and disrespected, quote unquote, by a lot of people who are higher up. And I just move myself out of the situation. I'm not in the business of fighting anybody in the business, but I do think that there are people who are higher up who kind of talk to comics like any kind of fuck, how dare you say whatever? And it's like, why is it okay for Patrice to say and, and fun and you don't open your mouth about anybody else, but the minute he asks you one question, you're flipping out and zopping out. But that's probably why I don't work at this club. <laughs> that's and I'll never be past it. I'll never be auditioned here. Here's a question. Wait a minute, stop why right there. Think, wait, wait, wait. That, so, that, wait, stop. Don't go there, because I know where you're going. That's, I, no, I'm, I'm going to go it. there. Don't do it. Don't do it. No, because you got subtext. No, there's no subtext. No, you, there's no subtext. you just released it. There's no subtext. Your fucking horse shit came out at the end. No, it did not come out at the end. And that's not true. And that's not true. A thousand percent You just worked the club. You're crazy. Child, a benefit. And a thousand percent. crazy. What I'm saying is, since we're delving into it and it got deeper, now some layers came out. Has nothing to do with that. Exactly. I still think he doesn't have to disrespect. That conversation you said to me is not nuts regardless whether i'm here or not let me ask because you this people, let me ask you this. people let me getting ask out of this. their bag to what somebody that think, they know right, is what nuts do you think right, was listen, Patrice's... don't fucking don't fucking just yap over me if i'm gonna say something let me talk because i'm gonna let you talk let me fucking talk okay sure. yummy yummy it, it, it does have something to do with it it, and I, I, it absolutely does and i understand it but he, you're, you're 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 taking you're taking the context of this fucking story manny overreacted which we all knew at the time he overreacted. Everybody was like, Manny, you fucking went too far. Patrice, that's Patrice. Patrice was just asking you a question. He wasn't trying to fucking... And he overreacted. And the end of the story that he apologized, Patrice, and worked it out, and he knew that he overreacted. Someone Sometimes people say shit to you, and you just snap. Yeah, you but, just but fucking why, lose what do you, it. Why do you think Patrice asked that question? Because yeah, he was sitting there, nobody was talking to him, and he was trying to... Of all the questions... He was but, fucking but, with him, though. Yeah, but, but no. At some level. No, Patrice was just looking at his teeth, going, are those real? Because he... So Manny had, it was completely guileless. That he I really just absolute, all of a sudden ab, I know Patrice wondered was, if Manny's teeth were real. But, because Patrice had to own the room. Do you understand? When Patrice was sitting there, his questions, he didn't just talk... He didn't just say, yeah. hey, how are you? Patrice didn't go, hey, how was your day? Mm-hmm. Um, how, is your dog okay? He didn't give a... He would sit there and think his questions had to be something he wanted to know. That's what I'm asking. And he looked at Manny's mouth as Manny was talking, and he saw his teeth, and he was like, <laughs> shit, are those real? Are you, Manny, are your teeth real? That was it. And Manny fucking lost it, probably because they're not, and they're whatever they were. And he probably felt it, and he overreacted. But you can understand that being insulting, though, right? It's insulting, but I don't think it's insulting at a comic at all. table. Oh, I, I mean, I, I mean, don't think it's insulting. Number one, right. number two, mm-hmm. I want to know why you think it's okay to say that Manny overreacted, and then I say it. There's some subtext to it. No, because, because there's that, not. All right, let me tell you why. That's number two, and uh, number two, I've been razzed three, by three. three. I've three. been no, razzed by one, Patrice millions of times, and never took it. Per- and he went hard in on me, and I never was like motherfucker, blah 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 blah. Okay, so that's the number place one. I'm number from. one. Number one. Uh, as far as you, at the end of that story, you threw in the, I'll never work at this fucking club. I didn't throw it in at the end of the story. Yeah, we went to another level of questioning. He pursued it. And that's the response that I had. But you said, this is the problem I You asked me you if said, I ever been disrespected you by said, a club owner. You said, you said, and that's the reason I'll probably never work this I club. I said because of the thing, the series of things that I'm saying just now is probably why I'm not at this why, club. All right, explain that. Why won't you ever work this you club? You asked me if I ever been disrespected by a club owner or is anybody above and up and above, Has right? somebody disrespected you here? A million... I don't even like. Is I don't even feel saying? like there's a comfortable I, I, place for me to get into that. I don't because I don't know that. If that's the case, then I don't fucking know that. Okay. If there's well, some, if there's a story that I don't know, I can't be. We, I I can't sh- form an opinion on that. But I I know that we mm-hmm. just talked about you the other day, and I know that every time your your name comes up, it's like she's the funniest chick around. I'm sure, but a, a lot of people say that, and people say that about <laughs> you and all of us. I'm not whatever. The point that I was making was if someone, yeah. if I feel disrespected yeah. or attacked, yeah. my instinct is not to right. go have a battle with them. Right. Number one, because I'm a big black woman and I'm always going to lose, right? Because people are going to go, what did she do? Just like we're trying to de- decipher what Patrice did. Right. Did he do it because of this? What All this explanation of what he did, right? Yeah. And I don't want to get involved in it because I'm always going to lose. So I don't get in those situations. I take myself out of the situation instead of having a combative thing. Sometimes you can't get out of the situation and you have to respond to someone. And the way that I may respond may not be the way you want to hear it, right? 
because I'm not going to go, yes, sir, blah, 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 blah. I'm going to tell you exactly how I feel. And then I'm sometimes I'm not working places. <laughs> That's how it goes. I think we all kind of so have that when so we defend ourselves. What, what, I'm, what I'm getting from you right now, A, is that something happened. B, I don't know about it. And C, I don't have a C. The C is, at the end of the day, but, I adore am I right? you. Am I, I adore you. Are you going to be fucking a Yenta from Long Island? I'm again? not going to be Yenta. I just. I adore you too, honey. I fucking <laughs> adore you. We Let's Maybe all have it... love and like we have the love and we have everything. Look, but we there's can... a lot of pe- everybody. Some people are in beefs that we don't know about. Beefs. Beefs. Right? Beefs. We're, beefs. we're in beefs. We can be. Ooh. I love a beef. I've always been. I'm a, currently I'm, beef free. You you not you have no beefs. I'm no be- I'm not even in my diet. You got I'm a beef lot, free. You got a weave, I'm, but you got I'm no we- beef. I weave full. You got beef weave, free. but no beef. I'm beef free. That's I love that. The, I love that we're all fucking working through this, and these two are just like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Time, well, the first time I would just got annoyed. He's like, this bitch bragging about being beef free. <laughs> <laughs> I love beef. I gotta take a week. I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> You're leaving on a fucking yeah, yeah. good one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like a stanza. That's, com- yeah. that's comic timing right the there. The worst part of this story is I, I really want to know what Patrice would have said next, regardless of what Manny's answer was. I- if Manny didn't go bananas on him, I would have loved to know where Patrice was going with that. All right, so let's reenact it right now. You be Patrice. I'll be Manny. You be Geraldo. <laughs> I'll be a waiter who's just no, getting drinks Norton. in the you back. You be Norton. <laughs> <laughs> I'll All be right, the waitress. Right. You fucking motherfucker. You're trying to embarrass me. you try Trying to Wait, who's me Manny fa- now? I'm Manny. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to embarrass me. You're trying no, to make I'm me not, look like a no, fool. I'm just asking you. Oh, your teeth. fuck you, oh, mother. Oh, you're, 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 you're trying to fucking embarrass me. <laughs> he got upset about teeth. Like, listen. No, you're Patrice. Stay in character. But let me, can I just say, I don't know how to be uh, saying character as him, but I will say this. <laughs> you were doing good. I know I was doing uh, good, but here's the thing. You just keep yelling. That's all. I <laughs> have been, I have been, listen, the undertone of it, just to be more fair right is people have said things that have stung me right they've said all kinds of things about my weight and you know my skin color and what all the kind of things and then you internalize it and then you just get fed up and you go right and you have a Snap. meltdown right but when i've had encounters with friends like people i know i fu- and we go too far and i'm a person that sometimes can go too far in joking you think yeah a thousand percent <laughs> I know. but then i see when i see the pain in somebody's eye when I've gone too far, no that's when I'll I'll take a beat and try to readjust the situation and then pull someone to the side and say, man, I'm sorry. Or, what, I, you know, I think that went too far. I shouldn't have done that. Da, 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 da. Yeah, but I'm the king of that. That's my thing. That I, You know how many times I've... I remember Patrice, me and him, he was calling me all these names, and I go, hope you lose a foot. And he's like, Bobby, I just found out I had diabetes. Are you, I just told you that in confidence. I was like, I mean, <laughs> that's my thing. You know what I mean? I remember, but why is that too what's far? his name? Uh, Colin Quinn told me he had a miscarriage, and, we're oh, all, no. and then we were outside, and he goes, yeah, she had a miscarriage. I go, I know, you told me. And he goes, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> I mean, I've done it. Oh, this is a long time ago, okay. not recently. Okay. Why does that make it okay, though? <laughs> like, no, 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 But I don't, you know, okay, yeah. I think com- this is why comics were fucking great. Because we, we, uh, we can flip out, scream, yell, uh, get mad, hate each other. And then somebody says something funny and it makes everybody yeah. laugh. That's and you're fucking back into it again. Where these other people in the world, okay, you pick a side, <laughs> yeah. and that's it. You ride or but die new on that side and scream and yell. The new breed this of what? This new breed of comics seem to be doing that now. I was having conversations with people. with their, The Louis joke on his new special where he talks about abortion. Yeah. And oh, I was yeah. like, this is a great joke because the whole idea is that he understands why people would be... You know why they would be against abortion? Like he understands that's a joke. He understands. He goes, "Yeah, you think that's murder?" And then this girl I was talking to was just like, "I couldn't even look, listen to the joke. I couldn't even laugh." And I'm like, My first shit. off, it's a great joke. Two, you can't even understand where someone else is coming from. Yeah, right, that's the yeah. shit that bothers me. Yeah, because I don't agree, sure. but, but I understand. Yeah, because she fucking had nine abortions last month. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> fucking <laughs> whore, that whore has been fucking <laughs> fucking her way through the village. Uh, you know, there's nine? A, uh, a nine? That's a lot, <laughs> She's she held on a lot. That's a uh, lot. Her, she, her prolapsed yeah. uterus at this point. She's dead. She's not living. <laughs> nine. Bring up that joke. <laughs> Chappelle got a lot of shit for his last special uh, for some of the stuff he was talking about about homosexuals. The trans- transgender stuff. Yes. The transgender stuff 
And uh, <laughs> you're right. A lot of young comics were like, yeah, oh, I was really disappointed guys, no, that Dave was coming. Well, let me finish. So my response to that was, it was ironically, in light of this conversation, I said, you know, when I hear stuff like that, I, I have to quote Patrice O'Neill, who said, look, I'm not saying I'm proud of these things that I feel or think. Yeah. I'm not saying I didn't great, wish yeah. I didn't feel or think those things, but I feel or think those things. That's all I can say. That's yeah. it. Thought police. You should mm -hmm. be allowed to have your fucking and, thoughts. And, and, and okay, does False. it make I does it make me racist that I like you more than I know you're Italian now? <laughs> <laughs> I but did. that's positive racism. <laughs> okay. That's okay. Um, I. Uh, but here's the thing, though. Back when Eddie Murphy. Did wee wee yeah, yeah. wee, and that was a real guy. Fat that was going, a different time. Wee, yeah, but he got shit. No, he got shit. Yeah, he, yeah. They, they Damon Wayans as well got huge gay guys shit. at the fucking airport picketing him. That's right. But yeah. the only thing they didn't have back then were cell phone videos, YouTube, the internet. Sure. Mm -hmm. So the hatred that they got back then, he never got it because he was cushioned from it. Mm -hmm. Okay. And he didn't see it. Maybe once in a while he saw a couple of gay guys with signs yeah. saying "fuck <laughs> you" in front of his <laughs> right. right. But now that we have this this internet and this this technology, yeah. where we're, we're being a uh, it's it's just it's there. Those people always existed. They yeah. just didn't have a way to get but to now us. They speak for other people. They never. Now it seems like they're speaking for people, but it's just one person with a keyboard right, that yeah. makes it seem like they have a thing. But it's right. just or one person wanna... who was offended at the show who yes. writes a blog, yes. and then it the whole show was offended. It I, wasn't. I, I want to say I'm a little offended that Louis starting to dress up for his special oh, now. Yeah, <laughs> one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> what was that about? He did his first special with a stain on his shirt, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, "That's comedy." Yeah, yeah. You, you know, but now he's fucking. Now he looks like oh Jesus Christ. I mean, he looks great. Yeah. I, I cut it yeah, up. but the idea that you can't understand where someone's coming from bothers me. I, you, you had a point. They cut it up to look. Yeah, they added that last thing right at the end. Yeah, and they cut out probably another funnier line. <laughs> yeah, yeah. To make women uh, some, you know, uh, feminist <laughs> to get more people yeah. to get more people to you know, blog yeah. about it. Yeah, some some fucking right wing yeah. dude with a uh, a cross tattoo across his back. <laughs> this hysteria really takes. A psychological toll on you. I really think like every fucking time so you open right. up, and it's not like and whether it's news events, like like or whether it's like a, a police shooting, or whether it's a new thing to be offended about. Uh, it's like I, I've been reading this book Nixon Land, which is great, and it's all about like the factors that propelled him to the pre pre presidency and all that shit. But like things were just as fucked up then. But like now yeah. we're just reminded of it every two minutes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and it's like like on the surface right now, my life is probably the best it ever has been. You know what I mean? But I the psychological dread that yeah. I feel like all the time yeah. is because there's this fucking internet sky god that lets us know. Like sometimes you just need to not know the shit and just yeah. I don't want this war. And there are people well, who make a, there are people who make a choice. To you know. not make the distinction between comedy and like an act actual political speech. Yeah, just get like way. Like I just don't want to hear about it. Like it to started makes me want to like. I stop. I stop. I stopped looking at the news. I stopped yeah. watching all that shit. It's like when I stopped watching ESPN and giving a fuck about sports because yeah. I I was so Boston. There was a part of my life where Red yeah. Sox, yeah, you know, fuck yeah. the Yankees. And then I realized, what the fuck am I doing? I'm. I'm. This is all a uh, self. It's, it's, it's fabricated. Anger that I have yeah. for something that's not real that doesn't affect my life. What the fuck? So yeah, I, I never got into sports because like rooting over for one team over another always felt to me like rooting for Pepsi over Coke or something. Yeah, I, I tell and you, like, it, one it, night like, I, was, I don't get it. I was with Louie and, and he put on a Yankees hat and, I, and he's from Boston. I was like, the fuck are you doing? He's like, I need a hat. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. oh yeah, it's just a fucking hat. Yeah, yeah. Why, my uh, theme, my ringtone is "Go Cubs Go" because I love the song. I've never watched a baseball game in my life. Is that true? From New Jersey, is that true? I love that. <laughs> go Cubs Go! It makes me happy. It brings joy to me. I couldn't tell you a player who's ever played on the Cubs, but I love that song. I well, here's the the situation that's happening, right? And <laughs> so I'm I know I'm in a very <laughs> serious mood today. Yeah, you really I like it though. Yeah, you I know, like sometimes it. it just and 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 because mm. I've been, mm. you know what it is? I've um, personally on stage have triggered at least seven white women this week. And my act is triggering white women left and right and What is what is the attacks. jokes? Only white women. Um, it's uh, various things. So, yeah, it's only white women where they need to be hugged and held. Cut by to their you just like hitting one cocoon. with a brick. Yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> I fucking hate white women. <laughs> I don't hate white women. No, I know. I'm, I'm just saying. I'm imagine that's them. the joke. Um, yeah, I'm I think it's great. Oh, if you have yeah, a show yeah. where you need guy, but, you, you need um, um, grief counselors after your show. <laughs> Yamanika, yeah, there's one behind you. Shh. 
<laughs> here's what here's There's a really white guy. <laughs> here's 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 where my problem is with a lot of this opinion stuff and PC stuff. On one end, I get it and I understand it because I have you know being a black woman, I've had to deal with a lot of bullshit. Said to me, however they want to say it, do whatever. People get frustrated and go, stop, stop, stop barraging me with your bullshit and then I have to carry it. But now what's happened is, now you can't say anything. And then right. common sense goes out the window. Um, and you get fatigue. It gets you get tiring you start, because you, you start don't to know. Stop caring I just about the want to tell right you, point. I just want to tell you what it is that I feel. And either you receive it or you don't. And now people are coming to shows and they're coming with their little judgment cards and they're ticking off what they like, like it's a buffet to put on. I like this, I like that, instead of just receiving the whole the whole comic. And that's the problem. But I, I think, though, for me, if if you're doing that, you're doing it right. I think if there's people in the audience that are going... <sighs> Yeah, you, you're you're actually being as true to you as you could be. If you, but now that out, happens even when you're not that kind of comic. Okay, and that's that, and yeah, that's but, not good for anybody. Yeah, well, it's not Listen, that good. When Jerry Seinfeld says, "I don't work colleges anymore because they're too PC," the least <laughs> offensive comic on the planet yeah. is having trouble with this. We've crossed some kind of line. We're, we're we're in trouble, but you but comedy has changed because these kids that are coming up are being the the people they see on these shows, which is the cleanest. Non-offensive, mm -hmm. most fucking uh, sterile comedy. They're not sterile. They just don't write jokes. Yeah, but they they learned how to just they write try. jokes. Not the. I mean, I don't know. And I it's and it's just <laughs> look at man when you're just coming up and you're saying shit that is just a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It has to have. I mean, to me, it has to have something behind it. Of course. I mm -hmm. mean, some type of philosophy or thought or passion or hatred or love. You, or some you, racism. Oh, that's just a good. Oh, that's a great joke. Yeah, yeah. Who but, gives a fuck? Yeah, yeah, uh, the sure. feeling behind say, whatever what are you you're saying? doing. Like, what the fuck are you, are you saying? Really doing it? No. I, are I you mean, saying what the fuck is he saying? What the fuck? No, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh, I'm not. I love oh, yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 I even take. Actually, I have to be oh, able to register that more. I didn't even see it happening. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. She took my water. I don't know. That's what was great about the the Louis C.K. thing is that he's basically saying to you. I don't know what to think anymore. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. and that's exactly he what had both. We're he did both yeah. sides. Here's yeah. the thing: he did both sides. Hang, hang on one second. Hang on one second. Both directions. He's been trying to talk for ten minutes, and yeah. that's loud mouth has been yeah. yapping <laughs> over him. And he's a very subtle white guy with a beard. <laughs> I, I got you, baby. This is my show, Thank you. and Thank I want to hear. Sir. I got you every once uh, in a while. No, but, I mean, I, I to to. Like bouncing off what you said, but also temporary. Like it's good that more people are invited to the party now. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't. I mean, comedy doesn't just need to be you know a back of the room club of guys shitting on stuff. But like you know, it's good that we have new people coming to the party. That it's more diverse now. There's more women. But yeah. on the same token, now like you can fucking like a comic and not and not have to hate them because they say one thing that you don't like. like Absolutely. We all have people in our lives, like, all my friends, there's one thing about them I don't like. I still love them to death, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's now, it's like, we're it's 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 come this thing like, oh, we almost liked you, but you did this one yes. thing. Yes, yeah. And you can't, people can't just take a person as a whole anymore. Yes. There's, you know? also, there's also the thing about misplaced anger. It's like, okay, so you, so you drove what my... So Who oh knuckles was that? That may well, be probably what was, was it? That was you. Yeah. Oh a, my god! Oh. <laughs> it was the water bottle. Put that mic over there. We all, we all, don't touch that mic. We all just beat him to death. Thought... <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with you? All of us oh joined together god. and be beat him. I thought I liked you. Now I hate you. It no. sent chills up my spine. I thought it was somebody's back. Yeah, but, I, but I was looking but on all of you, and I knew nobody did it. And then I was like, "Where the fuck did that come from?" Now I'm thinking that Deepu's listening in to <laughs> some fucking Staten Island ferry. <laughs> But here's a, here's the real here's the real frustrating thing thing about all of this stuff, especially when it comes to comedians who are you know I mean there's a certain level. Can I of stop it, one second? Here. Do you I have? Got, a, I gotta go. So. One second. Do you yeah. have a cassette phone? iPhone I do, case. I, I, I don't like you again. On this. Go ahead. I don't like so uh, <laughs> again, but it's made in Italy. Uh, uh, I do like you. Again. <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, uh, okay, so you drive Michael Richards out of show business, but yeah. you've accomplished absolutely nothing of any substance. You know what I mean? It's like you can take all the offense you want at a comedian's joke. Well, how well, about doing something with the fucking the justice Michael Richards system? thing? You know what I mean? Like, is like, totally like, different. Yeah, there's a different. I, no, no, that's yeah. not. I was using that as an extreme example. I'm oh, just okay. saying, okay. So you've you could use him as a, you've ch you haven't changed the we, situation in uh, America Paul, in any substantive I way whatsoever. I want to say that's what I mean is that all these people who are taking issue with jokes yeah. are like you know they think Bless they're doing you. something valuable when really 
Paul, you know, it's just Paul, a jerk off and it makes them think they've accomplished Paul, something and Paul, they're not. Paul, you can't. I, I hate when people, and I'm going to say this to you. I hate when they use the Michael Richards thing. First of all, I'm going to say something. All right, but you example, can use the but, Tracy Morgan thing. Okay, There's Tracy a, Morgan. Fine. Okay, because he, he's, but, he, but if you say that, you have to understand that he is still in the business, still sells I, you, out. But do you understand what you Michael understand Richard, my point, though, though, wasn't a comic. My, my, my point is that yeah. you can rail all you want right. and you can cause great harm to he, Louis C.K. for doing that bit, whatever right, the case okay. may be. Yeah. You've accomplished nothing of substance. Well, yeah. that's the good thing about the business is you never, people are going to get upset, but you're never going to take down a comic but, of that. Say, he's still got fans. But is this not about taking down a comic? The point is you're not changing anything. If you care about race relations in America, then don't let the fucking justice, justice Department carry on the way it's carrying on. Take all that rage and anger against oh, the comic wait, do you who think did a people, bad joke. But people are doing that. That's the thing. It's yeah, the, are people are not now. not well, doing that. Yeah. We're out there. But doing don't you that think bit. that's? Yeah. Don't you think that that? Look, everything's changed. Comedy has I changed. Think, I think the, the anger is misplaced. Let me ask a question. And it's, a, and it's an impotent. But let anger. me ask a question. Don't you think that it's something that we as comedians now have to accept that this is the new? Norm. Shit that yeah. we have to go through, yes. and I don't think that it's that it's a bad, full, a bad place to be. That we should actually care about other human beings, and we should actually consider people who have been, uh, you know, put, marginalized in the past. And I, I don't think that's a bad thing that we should have to consider that. But the point is, if people think they're accomplishing something by going after an artist for doing something, whatever, mm -hmm. when all the institutions are untouched by any of it, yeah, but you understand that if you go after somebody like a Louis C.K. All the fucking eyes that you're gonna That's get. True. I do get that. Do you understand I do that, get that all the I do now, get that. look, we wouldn't even be talking about this. I do if this, get that, if but this, it's still not gonna make it. If difference. that was Chris Scopo, we wouldn't even be a Oh, come on. Come on. Not the scopes. Yeah, but see that's the really? problem. <laughs> Both of you, I hope you get hit by a bus. No, <laughs> no, that could happen. You know I'm nearsighted. That's offensive to buses. <laughs> Can I this? Uh, the, uh, the problem that there, though, with what we're saying with all this stuff is that it's Ladies a and gentlemen, Captain Serious. <laughs> <laughs> well, I felt like if I came in like this, people would think I have a lot to say, yes. but I'm just oh going to make sound movie whatever. Phone. And I also meditate before this. So I'm not in the right zone. I'm very way too zen. But the problem is with the infrastructure with the... Ooh, 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 yeah, ooh, I use that word. Ooh, I've been ooh, sitting ooh, on that word for five chill. minutes. Uh, Dan just woke up. <laughs> <laughs> With technology companies right now, everything is the only way is to, everyone's trying to have your time. They're trying to yeah. get your time, and the only way to get your time is really is fear. And so they go after these things that make you scared, yep. make you like worry, make you this, and then it's grabbing it. And when all that's happening right now, it's the wild fucking west for these internet companies. And once they find a safe place to be like, instead of being Facebook having to grab you, we need your time, and they all settle down, we're going to find a better place where it's all going to go back. But right now, everything's in the fucking red because yeah, I want a blog. Ah, fucking, this guy said that. And it's like one idiot, and then it gets passed like oh, it's over. psychosis. It's the end. It's the end. <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah. I, I think we're. I'm right prepping. Right. I'm prepping I, for the podcast. And, and I will I, say this: I gotta. Uh, we're gonna say goodbye to Paul, oh, buddy. Thanks for having me, guys. The best. Oh, thanks for coming on. Him. Thanks for yeah, coming up. Great meeting. Well, well, I wish there was another chair. She looked like she had some shit to say oh, too over there. By the way, <laughs> um, yeah. Thanks for coming up, buddy. I love you to Good death. To see you, man. I hope the show comes back on. Thanks. Appreciate you gotta get it. these guys on. I'll have you, I'll have you I all on. I can't go on because I'm. I'm not famous enough, and I'm not. I'm too famous. But you're too. That's a new thing. I'm. But anyway, I'll see you later, buddy. Let's see what everybody what, what nice. Thanks for the tip on the grandma pizza. Oh, and Dan, right, before buddy. what you said too, like I have that residence uh, resides with me so well. It's like how many people do I love because they have one piece of them that I love, and everything around them is like they're fucking drug addicts, they're alcoholics, but, they're crazy. But then you see that sweet thing. It's like well, I love that guy, but you know they're surrounded. Can I say something though, shit. guys? That is that is that's called that's the way life is. Yes, yeah. yes. That's not that's we not forget. a that's not like oh it's, we shouldn't be like oh my god that's yes. that's. Yeah, my mother's has fucking twatty things about her. Yeah. My my wife, there's things that she does that inf make me want to fucking punch through sheetrock. Yeah, um, yeah, you'll be happier in in everything if you accept. Yeah, that I you know I I had to, you know. Like I was, I went to the planetarium by myself in San Fran oh, over the I weekend, which is sad, which is already. I was in San I Fran, but it was like, which is already like a sad. It's like I'm a widower, but uh, <laughs> I went there and it's like this exhibit on fucking on comets and like uh, yeah. like just collisions and all yeah. this shit. And I'm like, all the universe is chaos. Like everything we do here is chaos. Like it's a miracle. It's almost hopeful that we were able to put together. Any function of the yeah. society, yeah. and that we're not just tearing each other a fucking part. Like I, 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 the natural yeah, order of things is just right. chaos and nothing working out. I mean, so that, it's amazing that anything does. That plus time, right. 
because you know? that plus time, you will eventually have it. That's why the universe exists is because yeah. it's been around so long that eventually this happened. You know what I mean? And yeah. that's like, we'll have so many societies until eventually they all fail, and then one eventually will happen. But do you, I mean, okay, now here's the thing, is that we are being bombarded every day through Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, I mean, just videos, now videos, I mean, HD, crystal clear audio videos mm -hmm. of people just being fucking savages. Uh, just the wor the most awful shit in the world, yeah. along with the greatest, cutest kitten, baby shit. We're being bombarded. I mean- Every day with everything from anywhere that could possibly happen around the world, we're getting to see it all the fucking time. And yeah. now it's direct because it's, there's no more privacy on the Internet so no. they can go right to what you're looking at and, and bring it yeah. back up to you. And there's companies that can find... Look, it. I ordered something off the Internet. The next thing I knew on my Facebook those things mm -hmm. were coming videos yeah. of that shit was coming up i watched one isis you know <laughs> seriously you know when they they drop the they drop the bomb or the the isis guy fucks up with the fucking bazooka oh, they have isis himself. bloopers yeah. oh wait. yeah they have isis the one where they shoot himself <laughs> where the guy shoots himself are you crazy really there's, i got to watch this well there's one guy he picks up a gun he picks up yeah. a 50 cal and it jammed up and the bullet just went through his head he was Ooh. like Frip it! And it went funk, and he falls, and then just another ISIS guy comes over, grabs the gun, and they shoot like this. They have no, brrr, just over a wall because they don't want to be hit. They don't want to be fucking sniped because yeah, yeah. you know there's some fucking yeah. redneck at a thousand paces with a scope on, <laughs> just waiting for yeah, yeah. Oh, the, yeah, okay, see. Our guys. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, but now my feet is just jacked with that. It's just all this. Did ISIS. you know what they were doing in Target? And think, oh, I shouldn't have said Target because it's a brand. Sorry, allegedly, no, I, allegedly, allegedly, allegedly a target. As you go down the aisles, I love they it have. That, I'm sorry, just for a second. What? You've been like totally unfiltered the whole time, mm -hmm. and then you're like, ah, oh, shit, I don't want to fuck up my sponsorship. <laughs> yeah, because that's the type of bitch that I am. It's, so it's like, crazy. I'm saying, but I'm not. <laughs> Good for you. Like, you like pick the weirdest things to get PC about. <laughs> you know, and because I, I had a conversation with my manager, I have to respect his wishes to be well. Who's your manager? Um, Rick Dorfman is my manager. Well, I like Rick. Yeah, I, I love Rick. Rick. He's amazing. Um, but they will, um, they watch you the aisles that you go down, and there's sensors. It's a whole thing. You could probably find it on the internet. It's a whole thing. They have sensors, and they know if a woman is in the baby aisle, they've planned her whole pregnancy out by the time she's gotten in that aisle. Because now it's like, oh, she's going to have the baby, and then she's going to need clothes, and she's going to need these things. So they start bombarding her, and it's connected to even the tag that you have that's your coupon tag. So it's like now everything you get is going to be that, and it's going to—it's this mass marketing to people You're to get them in. But here's the thing, too: is my phone? I have an app on my phone. You know those TVs in bars or airports where you can't hear it, yeah, or you know whatever. Oh, I have an app on my great. phone that I literally push a button; it scans the TV and then brings the audio through my phone. This is the greatest idea I've ever heard in my life. So I can just watch whatever TV I want to watch anywhere. I can just hold my phone up to it, boom, and it comes through my headphones, and I can watch it. No sound. Uh, is this Bluetooth? That was back in 97. That's not Bluetooth, no. you lunatic. It is. Stop. He's talking about like if you- Look it. Yeah. Listen, stop being silly. Let me All see right? it. I'm going to tell you. This app right here, Tunity. See that? So when you're in an airport, right? Mm -hmm. And the TV's on, and there's no sound, or like a sports bar. Right. And they have all those, the games on, but there's no sound because they can't have five games on. I can walk up to the Pats game is over there, no sound. I can scan it on this Tunity, scan the TV like this, tap scan like that. It scans the TV and then brings up, it brings up the audio through my fucking phone. Also, put in marketing, Lauren. Um, Crazy. You're not even listening. I, I'm listening. I'm multitasking. I'm a black woman. I have to do it all. I have to watch for the cops, make dinner, laugh, <laughs> joke, sew. What are the cops going to do for you? Why do you have to sew? I love you to sew. sew. I took home back. Yo, look at you. I'm... Look how cute you become when you want to. <laughs> no, I, I want to be a wife. I, you know, but <laughs> no, other things God. happen. You're going to be a tough wifey. No, I'll be a loving wife. Will you be a loving wife? Yes. Really? I, plus, I won't be home that much because I'll be on the road. So you'll be on the road but... and when you come home, you're going to sew? Yeah, I knit. You knit? Yes. 
Next time, bring your knitting in here so you can relax a little when you come in. You came in hot today. You know what? Let me come back in two weeks and I'll bring my knitting stuff. Go ahead. I was in stand-up I want New York a, hat. a couple weeks ago. Want a hat? And, okay. And Yamanika walked in. We were all just, it was like raining. We were all just like getting ready for a set, being chill. And she goes, oh, you motherfuckers are going to act like I didn't just walk in here. <laughs> we're like, you fucking lunatic. Have a moment. Let people have a fucking normal human moment, you fucking monster. Like, we're not, we're, we don't want to be on your level right now. We want to have a fucking nice moment and prep out our fucking sets so we don't bomb. I we don't need to entertain the queen when she comes <laughs> in the fucking room. I did. No one fucking said anything. Sa- he just called you a monster. <laughs> yeah. I love oh it. Oh, my God. I love it. No, I need, <laughs> listen. Anything Dan says, I'm all all in. I you really love it. do come in hot today. I, I had to fucking settle you down. But a you know bit. what? I, I really had a special. I had a special guest. But Paul Provenza. He, he also was late. I was Nothing. like, why? He he, he, I didn't, told, he wasn't I was late. getting excited because I thought it was late. me, Bill Burr, Listen and then Paul Provenza. I know. Uh oh. I'm about to get my second talking to of the show. <laughs> You're gonna get your second one. Yeah. Okay. Here we yeah. go. Wow. Well, Number two. He wasn't on the show. I saw him at Ben's. I said, "Come up and around. Uh, oh. Whenever you're done with your pizza, you're on the show. <laughs> you walk in fucking late. I am <laughs> not. And on your phone. No. We're it's- rolling." <laughs> <laughs> We're rolling. Number one. I don't who like. Who starts at three forty-five? I thought four. What does that phone say? Time. What does that sign say? No, no, no. What does I that sign say? It right. What's it say? It says turn off your cell phone. Right. Understand. You walked in hot. I was the, hot. No, I was hot. No, under the collar you were hot. Uh, no, I wasn't hot under the. I was actually in a good place. I was just you. This is hot. your face when you walked in. I was not. It was it's perception because I was actually. I'll I had a, fucking roll the tape. I got tape. I had I'll a great. Co- I know. I looked. I was looking for a charging spot. Yeah, but you don't walk in while the show's running. Hey, I need a charger. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Sit the fuck down. You know and, what? And Lauren will come over yes. and hook you the up. The problem with you two you is that, what? like, if somebody is a little discomforted, <laughs> the other person will notice it, and then that'll make them more discomforted, <laughs> and then it'll just be fucking. It'll be just horrible. It's well, about, we're about just, we're very simple. Is something wrong? Yeah. No, something. Is that wrong? What the fuck's wrong with you? <laughs> fuck you! <laughs> you know what? Honestly, up, and baby. I'll say this because I'm being better in 2017. You said this last time on my show. <laughs> I apologize. I didn't apologize I last time. That. I you apologize. You said you're trying to be better. I am no, no, dick. no dick 2017. No dick oh, no dick. Yeah. And it's going phenomenal. Yeah. How's it going? My career is going well. Go. I, the dick, dick is too much a distraction. Oh. So you haven't had dick in 2017. No, it's been rough, but it's been great. I've been offered it, obviously. By who? My dick's out right now. More. <laughs> I, I've been offered dick more now that I don't want it than when I did want it. Your fly is unbuttoned. But oh, me? no. It's it is actually bad. Yeah, these pants are all fucked up. Yeah. You took my you water. It's just hard. The what fact that down? you Jesus, took one more. Harrison, I, I'm not. I don't. I'm not mad at her for taking your water. No, I'm yeah. mad at you for being the queen that you are. What am I doing? You went like this. Yeah, I yeah. like cold it, water. I'm falling apart here. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. You, you, no, don't let him take you down. That I'm was down. I'm you down. Were, you can't take me down. I'm already down. Thing he did. He DeVito. was there for me. <laughs> what am I going, Devito? I'm sorry. I knew you didn't know my name walking I'm in. Sorry. I'm waiting. <laughs> you called me guy. I love man. No. I love man. I love- <laughs> this is my favorite time the- I've been on this yeah, show. Like the- everyone <laughs> has such mental problems. Don't look at your phone. I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you five I'm guesses. Gonna show, I'm going to show you right now. I'm going to show you right now why I said that. To get him <laughs> on. He I'm doesn't say, remember my name. No, no I'm not, not offended in any way. He's always been so nice. That's not it. I'm going to tell you why. But I want to give you five guesses at my name. I'm going to say. I'm going to tell you right now. Dude, listen. This is why. Ready? Look. Where is it? Right here. Okay, ready? Use an app that no. says scan comedian's face. No. <laughs> Today, Joe DeVito. Anthony. No, oh, J- no, sorry, sorry. I know his name. Joe DeVito fucking uh, texted me on the thing today. Uh-huh. He wants to come on, who I'm a fan of. I like Joe DeVito. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, he's yeah. never been on the show. He's no Anthony oh. DeVito. No, oh, shut up. You Would think you? I'm Anthony DeVito? No, right? you're not. No. <laughs> you're Greg Stone. <laughs> I know you're Greg I Stone. Like Buddy, yeah. I know you're Greg Stone. I know your name. I know Greg Stone. Of course, I love you. Last time you were on here, you gave me the best. One of the best shows I've ever had was with oh, you. Oh, an angel. And oh, fucking DeVito. Uh, 
Was he Tavino here? Yeah, the steak. Yes. Oh, I don't remember. It was unbelievable. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And so, you understand, this guy tweeted me today, plus last time you were on, I just got, I fucked up, but I know your name. Of course I do. I'm one of the <laughs> biggest fans. I've been telling everybody about you, You're you cocksucker. But this, is a, <laughs> this is a great episode. I love when episodes are just chaotic. You just evolve into chaos. Uh, it really is. And you're just sitting over there being judgmental. I just, I just love that I'm not the fucking train wreck in the room <laughs> yeah. for the first time. This never happens. It never happens. It's like being the prettiest girl at the DMV. You know? <laughs> Uh, I love that Paul was actually dis- <laughs> I'm sorry I was laughing at what you said about Bill Burr because I did say, I love you're Paul you're like special guest oh I love Paul too but you like, <laughs> said special guest so I was like oh man is fucking Chappelle or Chris <laughs> right, Rock gonna right, right, be here right, right. and I was like oh you, you can announce Paul you can announce <laughs> Yamanika Yamanika was like who's this motherfucker <laughs> the teeth I was like, I like Paul the teeth look familiar the teeth look familiar I was like, I know this teeth. I was fascinated by them. That he looks so like funny. he did like experimental theater in the 70s. Sure. You know what I mean? Sure. That's what Paul uh, meant. I, he God. left just in time because I felt like it was just about to get to, and these Negroes need to really start doing their oh, weights. Come on. It was I going to know. get, it was I getting, don't. oh, it was getting there. Yeah, right. Apparently you're Jesus. right. Listen, that was like a scene from Fences. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool. I'm there with you. <laughs> did you see Fences? You did not see Fences. I've read fences. the play. Beautiful. Oh, well, shit. Yeah. Piano lesson. I love that I've he, just, he, just, he just got more. He just tried to be smarter than everybody in the room. I read the play. <laughs> <laughs> I also <laughs> did, too. Motherfucker. You read the play? I did. And Jelly's Last Jam. Those are the two the recent. It's my favorite Will Smith song. That I've reread. <laughs> <laughs> that I've reread in the last. Where the fuck were you this whole show? Just laying back in the car. Uh, you guys were talking about like it, fucking yeah, truth and comedy. So I don't give a serious. shit about that. I just want to be funny. <laughs> Yeah, it was very serious. <laughs> I just want to give shit and be funny. The end of it, I'm like, oh, what the? F- I don't give a fuck about. I, I, I just want to get my shit done. <laughs> I'm sorry, this motherfucker. It's true though. <laughs> Where is the? We sometimes think too much about this shit. When in reality. Like, we just want to be lazy, funny yeah, motherfuckers. Yeah. I mean, the goal in life yeah. for me now is to have so much money that I don't even have to do this. Yeah. I, don't have to do my, I don't have to do spots. Just, I'll, I'll fucking send Max to school, go back the fuck to bed, yeah, have some yeah. Oreos, be a fat Marlon Brando on an island motherfucker, yes. and then and then do a show once a, once a month. I do a, a $250,000 gig in a casino. How you guys doing? You like it? It might have a slogan or something. Yeah. Uh, cookie, Mark. cookie, cookie! <laughs> Woo! I'll, I'll See you out of the merch table. <laughs> <laughs> cookie, cookie, cookie. Oh, <laughs> I was in, I, I was listening to Martin Mole on uh, Norm Macdonald's podcast. Oh, this sounds like it's going to be fun. No, it is real fun. But he's got the best life, man. He's like an artist on top of being a stand-up, so he just like sells his paintings and oh, shit. Oh, that's great. God damn break, it. Man. Does, does he sells paintings? Yeah. You've I, paint. Extra. I paint. I paint. Bobby, you, you don't paint. You paint what do you paint? Do you paint? Are you, are you crazy? Look at them fingers, covered all I'll, in yellow and red paint. Listen, I would like you, at where, where you are on the mic now, that's where I should have oh! you. <laughs> okay. But you, you need to come up a little further, Yams. Um, oh, fucking something about you, I'd fucking tear you up. I'd give you that dick. I'd at least make out with you. I, no, we. I don't, I'm you, sorry. You got married. That's what happened. Nah, See, you well, missed the boat. Sh- but in another life. <sighs> Anyways. We would have been the best couple, fighting, arguing, eating everywhere, grease all over our lips, mm. blood <laughs> we'd fighting. Be a, we'd be a great... Oh, imagine you and me on like a sitcom. Oh my God, yes. Yeah, he could be the fucking creepy neighbor. <laughs> my friend that I play video games with. I could just be the neighbor, you know. He's your, he, he's your gay boss. <laughs> I am what I am. <laughs> what the fuck? Is I that? don't know. I tried. I That's the merch shot. he's selling. <laughs> I am what I am shirts. Uh, we have Paul Pavenza do a guest spot on the show. <laughs> we can the thing about comedy is, oh, shit. I didn't want to <laughs> yeah. say anything. I didn't know that was him in the video because I looked over. I was like, oh my God, talk about age. Yeah. Well, I mean, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Yeah, you think this he's bad? Like you should, no, no, you should see. He's cute though. You should but see like, Patrice. <laughs> Sorry. Oh. <laughs> Why? Actually yeah. I actually think he aged pretty well. I think yeah. he aged well too, but I mean, yeah. it's night and day. Like, that was the lights on. This is like the lights are cutting off. Well, he probably dyed his hair. 
You know, I talked you to Tim that? Dillon about this. The fucking end Who? of the shit, Tim Dillon. Who's you know that? Tim. Oh, you know Tim. Tim, Tim is wonderful. Can, hey, can I joke around too? Uh, fucking, <laughs> what the I would fuck? love to bury Tim. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's a small, unknown Take comic. That, fucking... he, that motherfucker buried me on Bobby's podcast. <laughs> yeah. You know, I fucking open for him. He tries to attack me on coke, and now he fucking buries me. <laughs> Yeah, we take that fucking fat Kennedy head. <laughs> he does. Him. He's like a Michael Skakel of comedy. <laughs> he, uh, he really is. Uh, but yeah, he was talking about the end of this is not pretty. That's what Tim yeah. always You know what I mean? Like, you see somebody who's like 60 no, or 70. It's like, well, the end yeah. for him is yeah. not pretty. No, the, <laughs> <laughs> the end of his late 40s. <laughs> <laughs> you got so excited That's about right. that joke. <laughs> yeah, this guy. This cocksucker is blotchy all day. (laughs) (laughs) He looks like he should be just a a fucking EpiPen stuck in his neck. He looks like if Ted Kennedy didn't survive the car wreck but kept living. Come on. I love Tim. I love Tim. 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 Tim's one of my best friends in comedy. He's like top three. Body, one of my favorite people on... One of my favorite people around. I love him. Fucking house hilarious. Easter, but he's going to die no. if he doesn't stop eating duck fat. Listen, <laughs> if you follow his Instagram, it's this, dude, oh, this is dishes. the best, yes. this is the best pasta His Instagram is a suicide you note, get. you know? Yeah, really like, <laughs> Tim, have a salad, you cunt. I mean, even I'm trying. You know what I mean? The fuck are you doing? I he's too. he's burying I'm himself. I'm fucking. I found that I'm like pre pre diabetic because I'm eating like shit, and it's like I gave up drugs, booze, cigarettes. I get fucking nothing, and there's no wow, fun. Join the club. Yeah, you know what that's called? Being, Being a, a comic in 2017. You got nothing. No dick. No sugar. <laughs> no carbs. No fucking uh, pizza. No not no alcohol. No drugs. You know why? Because all the other comics before us fucking died. They yeah. fucking died and went away. Now we all have to check ourselves and make yeah. sure that yeah. we don't lose yeah. a foot. Nobody wants to pull a, a, a Panette or a fucking Patrice or a Mitch. Yeah, yeah, Nobody yeah. wants to do that shit. There's Not no- that we're anywhere near how funny those people yeah. were. Yeah. But, yeah. I mean, if we died right now, you know, what they did, the headlines would be on what? Laugh button? That would be it. I was really, <laughs> yeah. dep- I was like, because I was in a, Puff was, was in a car it. going to a fe- I was, Oh, sh- Jesus Christ. So, let me what ask happened? you a question. When you knock all the shit out, who yells at you? Nobody. Because I'm the fucking boss. That's why. And you keep your shit together, okay? Because I'll jump over this fucking table. Yeah, jump, I'll, motherfucker. I'll jump I'd over love to see that. I'll fucking jump over. I'll fucking suck the top of your lip right off. Get that pink tongue right in my mouth. Look at those fucking water buffaloes go in. I will spray this water on you. What, I, I just got to find out what happened. Are we done? What happened? We're, we're still done. going. This podcast. We're what happened? Going. It's psycho. Are we still going? This is the so time who? where I start to sing because <laughs> my career is there. And I am telling you, Your career, my, <laughs> I'm not going. Did we die? You're the best <laughs> man I'll ever. Li- how much... Can you pay for? Because maybe I should stop uh, singing now. Can I ask? Just no, no, please. You have a nice voice. <laughs> Thank yeah. you. Let me ask you a question. I mean, do you really? What are you? Are you having a bad spot in your career? I mean, but can I say something? I'm having a bad spot in my career. I mean, where? I mean, where do you? Where do you? Are you happy in your career? Are you? Is anybody happy? Is no anybody ever happy, happy? No. except for five comedians? <laughs> Yeah. But that's the thing that keeps us moving. I mean, we, I'm, I'm, I, I've had some successes, and I've had a good year so far. God willing, it'll be an amazing, you know, life that we. But you know, part of it is we have to keep living and being in touch, so that we can speak the truth. Look, it, we're fucking all broken. Sorry, darling. We're, we're just broken. We're all fucking broken. Just broken toys. Yeah, and we're trying. You know, and it's like it, you see someone get something, and you think that maybe they're fixed or better than you or or they have something you don't have maybe that's true maybe there's a there's an inner circle of people that get there and we all just fucking go up and down in between there like fucking goldfish we're all, I, we're I don't know die we're all huh? gonna fucking die yeah, we're, we're all, gonna, all gonna die and no one's gonna remember any of us over do the you want to be famous time. do i want to be famous do you wanna, i'm talking louis famous i'm talking um, that rich that famous that much, that much responsibility. I don't. I don't know. I think I could do good with it in a weird way. I know that sounds. This is gonna sound really arrogant. But do you want it? Mm, I don't know. I'd like to be that respected, but I don't know if I'd like to be that recognizable on the street. What about you? A thousand percent. Wow. What about you? No. Hundred percent. No. Hundred percent. No. Wow. I uh, I would love to. There's a couple things I really like in my career still, yeah. but I would love like I I, you know, I think perfect Somebody famous is like. Me. Uh, do you want it? Uh, do you want it? 
<laughs> do you what? want it? Oh, no, what? It? I want what, guys? <laughs> Robert, He's like, I would Robert, want it cut to want like, the pictures of your head just surrounding you right <laughs> I mean, to be fair, to be fair, Dan was still talking about how he didn't yeah. want it. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. I, was, we didn't I think get a perfect. I, there's certain things I want for sure, and I'm like, and I get fucking pissed off and resentful, and I think I deserve shit. But like, the perfect amount of famous is like, like I'd love to have a Warren Zevon famous, where you're never, you're never gonna be Bob Dylan or Bruce Springsteen, yeah. but you got some good songs, man. Yeah. Fuck people fame. Know you. Fuck just having that amount of people that know you to come and listen to your words. That's that would be why good. You need the that would fame, be good to not right? not entertain fucking. But nobody wants parties. the fame. Nobody wants be to be bothered with people yeah, like that. But uh, we'll we'll never comedy. Jim Sherbico made the uh, comparison to comedy to jazz. Yeah, we're very similar because we make the same amount of money. We work the same style of clubs, and you know you never you never Bon Jovi. You're never yeah, yeah. you know Rihanna. You're never you know the big Kanye West, but. You're respected. You're yeah, yeah, yeah. holy shit, and yeah. you make a good living. You yeah. make money, but you're not make. You're not. You're not. It's not like you fucking have fuck you money. Yeah, yeah. You know but what I mean. That kind of but, money, you, you can open school. Like that's the thing. I you can open. I know it's gonna sound real lame, but I was like, you're Louis. You create jobs. You can fucking open a school for somebody. You can change shit. You Jesus, can really do dude, that, Greg. It's the, it's the have, we have no so way. Wait, wait, this is what drives me fucking nuts. <laughs> Go my ahead. Dad, my dad said the same show like five years ago. I think, I think I'm going to open a school. Like we've trained to become comedians. There's people who train to know how to open schools. We would fucking ruin a school. No, but you. Yeah, I'm not going to. I'm not going to be the I'm principal. Saying, like I'm going like, to give the guy who knows how to open a school. We are so underqualified for everything but this. We have no, no. fucking idea what we're doing. <laughs> what are you going to open a school, Greg? Yes, absolutely. The fucking, fucking, yeah, gonna, fuck those you. Those kids dude, are going to like absolutely. poison themselves. I'm not going to be the guy running the school. Well, your fucking bust in front of the school. <laughs> your face. Give me a break. No, I don't want my face there. But you can. I grew up fucking dirt poor. I would love to change those Just people. Just give money to an institution that's already there. Who said have... I wouldn't do that? You're the one you're talking about opening the hallways. You're talking about being the next Oprah or some shit. Be Oprah, I want to break. No, you just you created a narrative. <laughs> you created fake news. No, but I would like to have like you see when Louis takes people on the road. I want to create the Dan Saint Germain Center for the Arts. That's what <laughs> I want to do. And it's just going to be sixteen-year-old Polish Dude. girls uh, who I immigrate into their country. No, but I'm just saying with that kind of money, you can change shit, and that would be cool. That would be cool to fucking change shit. I, but that's aside the only thing that I would want with that kind of fame. I hate Fuck when people did. say <laughs> that they want to change things. You and think I want to be doing... some principal <laughs> straightening kids out? Come into my office. Like, I'm not doing that. Just imagine I, you dancing in a dashiki with all these African <laughs> school children around you, holding the textbooks. <laughs> First of all, leave do. the African children out of it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate when people say that they want to do something for the greater good because the reality <laughs> is we want to do it for ourselves. You have no interest in opening up a school. White children are not suffering enough for you to have to open up a fucking school. What are you talking about? White now, children? And where did you get any of that from? Where did you get any of that? Who from? are you opening a school for? This the, podcast um, episode. Would be I don't. This is. I, I don't really know. gonna get into this. I literally I, have five cameras and I'm using my phone <laughs> to film this because I want to watch this later. Well, in my, this by podcast myself. should be called "People Who Are Unqualified to Have an Opinion." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's called. You know what, dude? <laughs> I'm very qualified to have an opinion. Actually, <laughs> listen. I tend to listen. You know, I love you. Right? I know it sounds lame, but Danny. It's, Listen, <laughs> you could open, but you could open a school now. That's the thing. At fifty dollars. Why no, did you, you think could... I didn't know your name? You cunt. That's hilarious. Come I on. knew your What's name. Fun. Huh? You called? I think you said guy. No, I fella. Don't. I do that to everybody though. From Boston, that's what we do. <laughs> Captain Ace. Yeah. You know what do you want to do? Hey, fucking Greggy Stone. Hey, hey what's up, buddy? Oh no, I know. I know. Anyways, I think he. I I tend to agree with him, and I agree with a little bit of you too, because I know. Look it. Yeah. I grew. I I would love to help. I tried. To, I'll tell you this. I tried to help. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of years ago, I did a you know what, dude, toy drive. I tried to help, yeah. but I just didn't want to do uh, kids. Those toys in the, for Scopo. <laughs> 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 I didn't want to do kids. I wanted to do kids in foster care, and I wanted to do juvenile delinquents from a place that I used to go. I was in, and I worked at, and I the, my fans are fucking awesome. They. Donated thousands of fucking toys, well, and great. I mean, great. And I and the one thing I said is, I go, look, nobody has a problem buying a little stuffed animal or something for a little kid. It's the teenage boys that don't get shit. So I needed socks and hoodies and and and, and a video game and Xbox and all this yeah. stuff. And they fucking, I mean, pulled through. Yeah. They were great. And I got all the stuff for these people. And you know what happened? I wound up 
uh, you know, get, I wound up going to the fucking place and it wasn't the place I was. It actually was just a lockup. Yeah. When I was in it, it was like open door setting and they were trying to do something. And right. and you, you have all the intentions in the world, but things, the, 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 the you know, unforeseen governmental horseshit is not going to allow you to be that knight in shining armor. You can't just make $10 million or 20, it would cost probably a hundred million dollars yeah. to have a school, by the way. I just said school, Listen, by the way. I know, but school is, just, is over a hundred million dollars. You understand what I'm saying? You yeah, didn't yeah, just yeah. say school. School I came did, from somewhere. Because I live near the Frank Sinatra school in Astoria. That's well, Frank did it. Yeah, that's the. It, yeah. It's not. It's Tony Bennett or something. I live right okay. over there. They have a course in disrespecting <laughs> cocktail waitresses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you can't. <laughs> how, how to hit a Jew? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can't. It's not. You can't just. I understand what he's saying. It's like, dude, he's you, one of the good you make ones your first course. fucking couple million dollars. You know what you're doing? You're going to buy a house. You're going to get a car. You're going to get a vacation home. You're going to put some money in the fucking stock market. You're sure. going to worry about your future, not other people's future. You're going to worry about you. I now, you get, yeah, but you're not going to, you have no choice because you can't help anybody with fucking. Of course. Uh, the uh, nurse has to like help. Patrice the nurse used to say all the time. Help the hurts. Patrice used to say all the time. You get a million dollars. You're a thousandaire because you spend one buck, you ain't a million dollar, you ain't a millionaire anymore. Sure. So you need ten million dollars, twenty million dollars, just to live the rest of your life as a millionaire. Because you spend any of that shit on some fucked up shit, a, a boat, a plane. Yeah. You ain't a millionaire. anymore. I don't need to be a millionaire. I'm actually afraid of having that kind of money. If they gave me that money, I'd love to get rid of it. Yeah, but you, you understand the money. Your your, your school thing stinks. The school thing. <laughs> you, yeah. When your kid is in my the Greg's school for fucking idiots who dropped out of the hospital school. Fuck it. Uh, <laughs> That's already proof he can't open a school. He didn't even know. <laughs> he didn't even say medical school. He said hospital how, school. But he's saying that he's just gonna he's gonna make whatever money he makes. Even if he got a hit, if you got a hit sitcom yeah. on NBC, when you go to yeah. courtroom school, you mean law school? <laughs> Greg, what the fuck are you talking about? There's no, there's no <laughs> Greg Stone School. <laughs> Great <laughs> sandwich pants. maker, chef. What are you, an idiot? Uh, uh, you can't. Your school thing stinks, and you got called out by <laughs> fucking by a fucking grizzly Adam. Yeah, <laughs> I'm creating this fucking school. Watch, yeah, yeah, watch, buddy. you fucking idiots. I'm a uh, great school. Uh, where? I was like, Even Oprah had to close her school down because they was uh, molesting the kids left and right up there. Yeah, I'm you not Oprah. I'm saying, like, they were trying to create her dad experience. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. No, 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 no. You're not gonna get me tied down with Oprah. Oprah, none of the views that was expressed just now have anything to do with me. And Oprah was raised by her father. Father's a very nice man. She loved him yeah now i don't know about the mother but the father was fine and uh, greg i I'm actually glad, think that you're glad you're you, not afraid of anything also can <laughs> i just oh, say oprah is <laughs> everybody's got there. their gods man ah, fuck she's her. not my god but ah, you know f- hey ready now ah, fuck her i want to be on greenleaf <laughs> no she i like oprah anymore. she's got but an I old channel that stinks her. No, no. no. She's I, yeah, it's funny. Oprah's yeah, one of those people. Like, you can't talk shit on. Two thousand and two news. Hang she's on one around. Yeah. Hang on one second. I see this. Dan's actually backing off, so I think I'm going to back <laughs> off. <laughs> Oprah, I apologize. Uh, yes. uh, I yes. really love your yes. network, yes. and Yamanika. <laughs> I love Yamanika. If you, you know what I mean? I love a bunch of Yamanikas. It is uh, funny. Like, when Chappelle was interviewed by Oprah, you could see, like, genuine fear in his eyes. Yeah, sure. The time when he was, like, talking about the well, pimp. No, he was doing with her. Sure. But I, said, I, I, yeah. I'm not an asshole. Like, I give money to no, charity every asshole. year. No one thinks you're an asshole. Yeah. I, uh, I, I do. I, he does. Uh, yeah. But I volunteer. I do all that shit. I just know that if I set something up, it would probably completely fall to shit. I said, well, I, 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 actually, I'll say something that I set something up, and it did fall to shit because it was it wasn't what I wanted it to be. <laughs> yeah, it, I look. I gave this. I, I'll tell you what. I came to this place with all this great shit right. on Xbox, t- uh, games, yeah. control, uh, hoodies for every. I mean, hats, gloves, all this awesome shit. Right. And I I pulled up to this thing. And I and they were like, "Hey, thank you so much." And it was two, uh, it was two staff members that met me. And I went in, and I dropped it off. And I can't meet the kids. I can't really talk to the kids. They're juvenile delinquents. Yeah, and, yeah. And they were like, "Okay, thank you very much." And I left. It all took around eight minutes, months of raising shit, months of fun. And then the other toys that I gave away, I gave away to a thing down at um, Pier One, and. 
They there was like, I felt bad. There was like a bunch of kids in wheelchairs. They were disabled foster kids. And uh, they were great kids. But it was like, I, 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 look, I don't, how do you say this? I would love to help people. Okay. Mm-hmm. But I, I want to help kids like who, who I were, a foster care system, mm-hmm. kids like me. Uh, and then all of a sudden I'm here with disabled kids. I felt terrible. But you don't like them. I, well, it's not that I don't oh. like them. It was just like, <laughs> Okay, yeah. I don't I don't have I don't have the in me to represent all these kids. The lollipop guild. And they got their own shit. Don't let them make like There they, was a lot. Let me tell you, I walked there's in. There's a lot of stuff for thousands the thousands yeah. and thousands and <laughs> thousands Dude, of toys. There's, there's, okay. yeah, so there's, you're not going to make a school. With that being said, all this being said, but halfway many, through my first sentence, what I was trying to get at was with that much money, you create jobs, you create shit. Look at like Louis brought List on the road. List probably made $50,000 just for being brought on the road. So there is something to that being able to create Shit yes. and, and give people yeah, that you help, love work. That's helping that. somebody who you know is funny to open for him. That's not yeah. like opening up a school. <laughs> this is yeah. a different it's situation. It's a one-on-one school. <laughs> you know, it's me yeah, teaching he. this guy. <laughs> you, can't you, you come off. You come off no, a little grandiose. I was. I well, to, I've been getting I, screamed this, at the whole time, and I can't get my thoughts together. Well, because she's like, I just want to be famous. I want the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, no, I don't give no, a fuck no, about no, money. No, that's not my mission. I like money. That's no. I like money. I just don't want to be famous. Let me be clear. I don't think I'll have to worry about. I. Uh, the 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 amount of people that will come out to you if you are famous for you to spread your gospel is what I like to have that amount of people. I'm not interested in fame. Um, I'm interested in enough money to take care of myself until I get out of here, right. as everybody should mm-hmm. be. I don't have any children. How am I going to live? Who's going to have to get nursing care? You know what I mean? I'm maybe have dementia or something in my nineties. So I need God. to to pay for that. What What is your problem? No, I'm agreeing. I just yeah, I think about know? that shit all the time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but it's but it's worse though. I have a kid. I have a wife, and and and, and someday one of us is going to be gone. And someday both of us are going to be gone, and, and and on the way out it's going to be fucking tough. And that kid, my kid's going to have to deal with that, which is burden esque shit. And I don't want to do that to my kid. I don't want my kid to have five years of fucking going to dad's house and cleaning his shit. And my kid Oof. doesn't have another kid. So any way you slice it, whether you're alone or you have a wife and a family, it all fucking the, it all fucking sucks at the end. The one positive of that though, like. If you're dying for a long time and your kid has to clean your shit out and stuff, like, and I've thought about this, it's like, then they're more ready for you to go when you die. They're like less devastated, so they're like, all right, well, I've been seeing, I, I've yeah, been relieved. doing. And they want you to go gradual, which is really depressing to think about yeah, too. But relieved. there's nothing worse. The worst thing that I fucking see is like when you go into a department store or something and you see like a a couple in their sixties or seventies taking care of like their severely handicapped kid and they're like thirties. You're like. What's gonna happen to this kid? These people never got a chance to retire. This is like, yeah, like life is fucking brutal. Like, yeah, but it's it it it. I think it it all becomes brutal at one point. <sighs> yeah, it does. Unless you unless you grab your chest in the middle of the night and go the fuck out, then then it's okay. I tell you, but man, it, I mean, it, 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 that's okay. It, look, <laughs> if, in the middle of the night, if I'm eighty and I just go, that's good. I don't, 80's I'm not young. A, I don't, it's 80's I, still young. 80's young, but if that for me, I don't want to be a burden on anybody. But that's why you, I mean, look, as corny as it is, you have to enjoy every second of where you're at. Of course, not to know? be douchey, but there's this great French movie, Barbarian Invasions. But like, <laughs> they, at the end of it, the guy just like does a shitload of heroin and has his family surround him and say goodbye. I mean, yeah. that would be the best way to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never met anybody more douchier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, listen, we're going to wrap this up. You guys, I fucking love Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> who am I? I would love to know who I am in your head. You're, you're Yamanika, baby. Oh. You know that. <laughs> I'll be in, back in two weeks with my knitting. Well, I will come, knit you, while I'm here. You come back in two weeks. <laughs> when you come in, you get off your fucking phone and have a smile on your face. <laughs> and then he's like Michael smile. Lawrence. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> thank well, you for I, having me. Uh, thank you for coming on, uh, Danny. Thanks for coming in. What, what's you your name? Me. First of all, grab the microphone. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. I'm David. Wow, what a hi, David. What, a, what an industry voice you. Have. <laughs> <laughs> David works for Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> are you oh, booking uh, Montreal this year? Yeah. <laughs> hi, I'm David. How are you? What the fuck? Where are you from, David? I'm from. Uh, well, I live here now. I live in Brooklyn, but David, I'm from we, we got a, we got a, well, now we have a bag of gifts uh, for all our guests. I work for, the for show. APA. Uh. <laughs> uh, we have a bag of. Gifts for all our show. 
I'm, I'm going to fight. Hopefully she moves a little quicker. She's scoping <laughs> it right now. Get up. Uh, so Lauren's going to go get this bag, and you get to reach into it and pull out something, and you get to keep it. It's a gift from the YKWD. Anybody who comes up to the studio gets to go into the gift bag. Do we get and- these? No. I didn't think yeah. so. Wow. No. Um, <laughs> what a big ass bag! Is this some of the toys you collected ten years ago in this bag? Yeah. Just, we clean. Wait a minute. We cleaned the studio the other day, and it's all the shit we were throwing out. Oh, is it? So yeah. This all right. Now don't look. Here. Look straight up and put your hand in. Dig around wet. now. There's a lot. Uh, it's wet. Well, no. yeah, don't touch oh that. Oh my god! It's the, it's the last shirt Robert Jenny wore. <laughs> Richard Jenny. Uh, <laughs> all right. Jesus. What do you got? What do you got? What do you I got? got? A watch. What is it? Work? A Miozone, Uh, maybe. It's a what pretty is good pull. Yeah, watch. What geez. is that? Let, let me see. Get it back. Oh, that, <laughs> can I just dig it no, in? No, no, see no, no. Wait a minute. Out? Take that back. I want that. It's no, I want that. That's it's my heart broken. rate monitor. That's my heart rate monitor. That's funny. Yeah, reach back. Stab something this is else. hilarious. That's Are you fucking hilarious. hilarious. Yeah, reach back in. I want that's that. Hilarious. That's the first time I've ever that. seen that. Again, <laughs> 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 Her Dude. Apple Watch does the same thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, you know what? What is that? What is that? What is that? <laughs> no, that's it's an, it's an iP- wait a minute, uh, iPad and a uh, Keith and the Girl. Uh, oh my god! I'm <laughs> talking about trading down. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. You know what? Oh shit! <laughs> oh, it's two of them. Yeah, it's, it's two of them. Two. Yeah. Those are two iPad yeah, covers. Yeah, the magnetic iPad. Yeah, the magnetic. This the is first just gen. garbage. And that is, that, yeah. <laughs> Keith and, the girl, yeah. and then you got a Keith and the Girl. <laughs> give him the watch. I, I forgot that I have an I, I have the brand new. Give him the watch. You get the she watch said it's too. Broken. Well, get a battery. You never know. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I just uh, want to see what I would get. Can you just humor me? Let me dig in there. <laughs> Let me dig in there. You want a gift? I know you. You just want something. What do you want? want reach in there. Go ahead. Reach in there. What do you got? It's gonna be a copy. What of do you precious. got? <laughs> what is that? It's a prayer thing. The Lord is. He, I told you I was a Christian. That's it's a Tibetan. Tibetan. Oh, it's yeah. Tibetan. Yeah, that's actually the devil. Yeah, you're going to hell now. What they believe? Yeah. (laughs) That's the devil. Don't open that. If you open that, you get voodooed. Don't say that. In the name of Jesus, I rebuke that. Don't say that. (laughs) (laughs) Create your own wind-blowing prayer for peace, enlightenment, and spirituality. It seems nice. No, it is nice. You want it? Do you want it? Look at me. Do you need do you need a gift today? I need a gift. All right. You know what, Dan? Reach in there. Grab yourself something. <laughs> this is the only time I'm ever going to do it. You. This is the only time I'm going to yeah. do it. I'm going to let the guests reach in. What do you got? I got a photo lens for an iPhone. <laughs> no, I think that's, that's a good gift. Awesome. Yeah, good. Wait, in. I don't, there's nothing in yeah, here. Yeah, it's no, not in there. I can't. <laughs> yeah, that's just. <laughs> Bobby just <laughs> came through it. In, and then I get some fuck. I don't even hey. know. Wait, wait, no, I think it is in here. It is hey. In here. Oh, hey, there you go. Yeah, there you go. There it's you in go. there. He's there like, you yeah, go. there you go. Hey, wait, is it? No, it's not. Yeah, yeah. No, I, 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 I have that at the house. Listen, Eric DeVito. Um, it's actually Paul Provenza. <laughs> <laughs> Reach in there. Don't look. Grab something. There we go. What do we got? A shawl. Oh, <laughs> that's a scarf. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. It now matches my what look you have is on. Complete. <laughs> yeah, it's ninety degrees. <laughs> oh, it's a, it's a stuff found at a Greyhound yeah. station Christmas. <laughs> You look exactly like a guy that would open up a school. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's go around the room. What do you got, buddy? Uh, you can find me Al, Ace Captain. <laughs> you can find me at uh, EricDeVito.com. Uh, <laughs> Come on, no, give me, give me Greg Stone one. underscore Twitter. Uh, check out my podcast, The Rad Dude Cast. Thanks. Oh uh, man, great Thank having you, you on again. Thanks for having. Me. I always have a great time. I do, man. You, no, you thanks. are. I know you didn't think I know your name, but I, when she books you, I go, yeah. <laughs> I I go, it. I love him. So I know, I know your name. Um, we got to get Devito on though. He All does right. want to be on. That's okay. that was today. Um, thanks for coming on. Make sure you check him out. And if you go to your shows, make sure you uh, you come up and say hi. And you saw you heard him from the show. Yammies, what you got? Well, since I'll be back in two weeks, I'll spare you the June and July details. <laughs> um, I should I'd- let you host the show. I would <gasps> yes. love that, but yes. you have to be here. No, He's when, be I, gone. when I go away, I sometimes I have guest hosts. <gasps> Please, All right, if they will allow me, I Who's think they? We, the people that hate me, if the they Illuminati. love me enough, <laughs> <laughs> buddy, everybody Baba, hates me. Baba, they don't like me. 
Okay, <laughs> don't get carried away. Well, yeah, you know how many host. times I get called fat fucking ignorant <laughs> fuckface in my own chat room? <laughs> These savages don't like anybody. It's only 30 people. That's it. It's around 70,000 people love the show. They just won't tell me. They won't tell me. Tell him that you love him. I love him. I love him. I love him. And Every where he goes, I follow. I follow. I follow. Uh-huh. Here comes the true psychotic anyway. break. <laughs> yeah. All right, go. What do you got, babe? I just taped my half hour for Comedy Central. Ooh, yeah. She killed. I was there. She and killed. thank you. Yeah, I was, I'm yeah. excited for that, and that's what I'm doing. And if you want to follow me, it's Yamanika Everything. I don't really update my website, so you're wasting your time, but it's there, Yamanika.com. All right. I hope uh, I want to talk to you about the cello too, because I, I think you should. I mean, you, you're annihilating. You're fucking hilarious. But let me tell you something. Uh, 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 it doesn't matter where you work. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I, none of these other clubs worked me back in the day when everybody was up at the strip and there was eight people downstairs at the cellar and that place was packed and Lucian, you, you, well, you, you. <laughs> I never let it get me down and right. I never hated him for it either because I get it. I was like, you know what? I got you. You're cool. Yeah. I'll just stay down at Boston with fucking six people and Lewis Schaefer and it was good for me. You know what yeah. I mean? I got over here. So don't worry about that shit. Um, thanks for coming Thank on. you. What do you have besides uh, a fucking lazy eye? Are you uh, all right right now? No, my allergies are fucking killing me. Is it me. killing you, man? Yeah, I don't know what's going on. Sorry. Um, oh, it was pollen. It's yeah, called, I think it's just pollen. I don't know. But my car was covered in it today. Yeah. You know what sucks about me is that I thought I had allergies for the last three adult allergies because my yeah. sinuses are so bad. I went and got checked. I'm allergic to nothing. <laughs> just, <laughs> just, just my fucking... Just your aura. You take the allergy pills all the time, though. Who What's are that you? for? What do you do? Who did you just turn into? <laughs> you take the allergy pills all the time, though. What are you, fucking a female Gilbert Godfrey? <laughs> what do you got, buddy? Uh, I'm headlining Go Bananas Comedy Club in Cincinnati this weekend. And, How is that uh, club? Great. It's really fun. I heard it's great. It's a great club. Who um, runs that? My, this guy, Michael Kurtz. Really? Yeah. It's yeah good, all right, man. cool. And then uh, I'm doing the Big Hunt in D.C. later in the month. I think it's two weeks later. And then the Turnbuckle Comedy Festival so in Ooh. Iowa. So check it out. Thanks for coming on, man. Thanks for having me. Always mm-hmm. fucking funny. I love I love, I love being here. I love being back in New York. I'm fucking, fucking hate having to go back to L.A. in a couple of weeks. Well, when are you coming back? <sighs> Probably uh, Christmas. Depends on where our hiatus Let's is. Let's try to I'll get this school then. going. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's do it. <laughs> All right. Uh, what do we got? Talk to people real quick. Um, Don't you fucking hit that fast forward. Don't you end this podcast. You listen. We have no sponsors today? No, not today. You listen to what's about to be said. <laughs> you you listen cocksuckers. To me. Don't skip over that. I'm done. Fuck you. Because we're doing something special right at the end. And if you skip one, you're not going to know where it is. And it's a very mm-hmm. small thing, but it's going to be <laughs> holy shit. So you listen right now. Spit it out small. fast. Okay. Download the Robert Kelly's You Know What Dude app. Become a premium member, one ninety nine per month. If you're a fan of YKWD and you want to sit in, email me at ykwdproducer at riotcast.com. If you'd like to mail anything in for our shelves up here, it's 117 McDougal Street, New York, New York, 10012. Attention, Robert Kelly. And that is all. Oh, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Our Instagram is ykwdude podcast. Yes, and we also um, thank you so much for all the uh, sweatshirt. Did you get the email? What sweatshirt designs? We got some sweatshirt. It's designs. not sweatshirt design. They're logos. Logo design. Sorry, for sweatshirts. Bobby, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> she knows how to break me quickly. As soon as I get mad, she goes, "I love you," and I'm done. <laughs> um, I love you too, baby. Okay. Um, so yeah, we got <laughs> so much artwork coming in. We're gonna pick. About, we, I think we're gonna let the fans. Pick. I don't know. We might use yeah. it all. Just to put it out there and put it on stuff. You guys are amazing. We, we She sent me two mail, two emails full of shit. Mm-hmm. We got somebody else working on something. I saw it on Twitter mm. that looked amazing, too. Um, so when uh, when we get it all in, we're going to go over it, and we're going to put some stuff up yeah, on uh, merch table. So stuff. send that to Lauren, too, at, to at YKWDproducer at com, And I'll get back to you. Thank Adam, you. a.k.a. the fucking audio assassin. What's up? You got anything? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter, at Rec Room Audio. I mean, he's making it's about sh- it. 
You, he makes this show. I mean, Teamwork Jr., he's the best. Upgraded this fucking yeah. show. Drop a computer. Yeah. I'm there. Yeah, drop <laughs> the computer, shut everything down. <laughs> I don't know what. We just got to fix it. We're fixing this. Listen, <laughs> this, this studio started on my fucking yeah. phone, and because you cocksuckers listen every week, now we're in here with five cameras, mm-hmm. some of the greatest comics in the world, mm-hmm. and uh, and a creepy fan with a fucking mm-hmm. with a watch um, that doesn't work. I'm kidding. You're not creepy. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but... Uh, uh, you can. What else we got? That's it, right? Well, we got your dates. Oh yeah, spin them out. Okay, May fifth, you're in Harris. Live, in live. Just know that I'm working with Nick DePaul this weekend mm-hmm. in New Orleans at Harris Comedy Club. May fifth, one night only, two shows. Me, I get to work. We're going Nick DePaul. He is. I'm telling you, he's about to pop. With this, you know what I mean. He's just his hour special is great. great. He's like fucking it. hilarious, and he's him. And I love it. So I get to work with him this weekend uh, at Harris. So if you're around, uh, you see the see my shit, retweet it, share it. So you just got to share it, hit the button and you tell all those people that, you know, and then so on and so forth. Stop just viewing shit and scrolling over it. Share it, retweet it. Help us all sell fucking tickets and, and make people aware that we're coming in. I know there's a lot of comics, but if you're listening right now, do it. What else you got? May 19th, your Uncle Vinny's. In Woo! Pleasant. That should be fucking crazy. Bring your own booze. That's fun. But the club is awesome. The guys are running. Always been sweet to me. And my fans actually show up to that one-nighter. Uh, Lauren's going to be there selling the uh, hoodies. Mm-hmm. You're going to sell my hoodies. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're bringing the, the, the tour hoodies, uh, True Story tour hoodies. They're summer hoodies. <laughs> They're just light hoodies, but they're really good. You can have them for a nice summer night by the campfire. Uh, we're going to be having those and T-shirts there, so make sure you come down to that. What else? 8th through the 10th, you're in San Diego at the American Comedy Co. Yes, Great club. There. I love that club. And I'm also doing, I'll be out in L.A. filming, uh, what's his name show? Um, Ari Shafir's show. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This and, is not happening. And I'm in, I, I'm in I'm Montreal. Me, Yep, exactly. Montreal, uh, nasty show. So get your fucking tickets. Me, Big J, Godfrey, and Jimmy Carr. Someone else to be announced. It's going to be mental. That lineup's mental. And then I'm going to be up there doing a bunch of other shows. So Montreal this summer. I can't wait to do that. I love those people. And uh, that's about it. So thanks for listening to the podcast. You know what, dude? We'll see you later. You've been listening to the YKWD Podcast. Thanks for listening. Now go back to your shitty jobs. Shitty jobs.